Hey, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome to latest episodes of Kids on Bikes on Roll20, sponsored by Hunter Entertainment, y'all. We're having a blast here. Uh, as you see from our backgrounds, we are in school, you know what I'm saying, and enjoying ourselves in our perfectly normal, uh, pretty sure everybody can relate to this from their experiences in school, um, our uh, T. Bergen Academy of Science in the town of Techburg. Um, so let's go around and do some intros, uh, who you are, character name, uh, m- maybe a sentence or two about your uh, character for anybody new, um, and uh, anything else you want to share. I know last time we did fun facts, but any anything else you want to share? Uh, n- n- no uh, pressure, of course. Uh, let's start with uh, Winter. Sorry, with not Winter. With you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, Yes, I am Winter Lee. Um, Winter Lee is a 14-year-old transplant from Orlando who has arrived in Techburg. She eats lunch by herself, but she's never going to admit it. She hates her stepmom. Um, Not really sure how everyone is feeling about this whole, like, crazy tentacle dimension thing. She's still teasing that out. Um, You can find me on Twitter at hello there shoe and wait. Any fun fact stuff? Uh, what did I do? Um, I'm 20 hours into uh, Divinity Souls 2, and um, I am having a really good time. Mm, sweet. Awesome. Uh, Kaylee. Hi, everybody. I'm Kaylee Bray. Uh, I am playing Meadow, uh, the scout. She's very concerned about her friends, but mostly her science project that she still has not been able to check on yet. Uh, <clears throat> very stressful uh <laughs> and fun fact i or something i have never seen jurassic park Ooh, any of them or the first one you haven't any seen? of them oh, i haven't man. seen a single jurassic park film you know <laughs> the first one actually the 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 visuals actually hold up i feel like one of the I, rare movies i think i would like it it's just one of those yeah. ones that i like never got around to okay well j- just just don't watch part three. That's all. Um, and skip <laughs> that one. That. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Marquia. Okay, good. I'm not muted. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Marquia McCarty. Uh, you, well, you're watching me right now. You can also see me on uh, Hunter's Entertainment Tuesday nights uh, where we do, uh, you know, I kind of think it's a companion piece to this because the worlds are so similar. It's not. It's a zombie apocalypse horror that <laughs> <laughs> um, where the apocalypse started in 1995 and now it's the year 2021 so if you enjoy this spooky small town adventure then you can like get your R rated in tomorrow night 6pm PT if you are so inclined uh, so the character I'm playing for our Kids on Bikes campaign is uh, Mana Pepperwood uh, she is 11 and a half years old um, a spiritual goth guru uh believes that she connects to her gods through her music and she goes around throwing salt in the face of oppression and uh, possible demons she also has no problem with wearing a cape to school Mm. Uh, she is she is that kind of person and starts her mornings um, on the roof of her house welcoming in her gods so yeah we'll we'll see what uh continues happening with her now that the tentacle dimension has been uh discovered and uh, aggressively uh activated by four (laughs) yes before so i'm really looking forward to what the fallout is awesome uh noir hello everybody i'm noir uh, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram as the Noir Enigma. You can find me on TikTok as Noir Enigma because I forgot the password. Uh, I'm playing uh, Thaddeus <laughs> J. Chadwick the Fourth, um, who futzed around last session and found out. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see what uh, consequences come from that. A fun fact about me: I have. Uh, 
I have uh, one that kind of uh, touches on one that was already brought up. I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3, uh, but my progress has been halted because uh, they just introduced druids and you can talk to animals. So I'm talking to all the animals. Uh, I love I love, I love, love the bears the best. They are the best animal. <laughs> so that's me. Nice. Now, when you talk to them in that game, do you... Do the- is it actual conversations it's, or just like a one line thing? It's voice acted. And Whoa. A lot of oh. the bears talk like this and it's the best thing ever. I have a new career goal. Oh my God. Yeah, for reals. I feel like yeah. for a long time. Yo, if anybody like, oh. needs VO for bears, holler at <laughs> your boy. I can do this all day. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like video games are just waking up and realizing how much we just want to pet animals and talk to animals. <laughs> just want to like talk Gosu, to bears. <laughs> like Ghost of Tsushima, it was like, just let me pet this fox, please. Yeah, it's true. I mean, there's that whole, that whole, like, that like, Twitter account that, like, can you pet the dog that just goes through video games and answers if you can pet the dog in different games. It's a great account if you're not following it, but it's, but it's uh, pretty good. Um, it's all I want in life. Uh, yeah. Like even even um oh which I call it that really great Last of Us even in that one you can pet a dog right I feel like yeah. I feel like there's a dog you can pet in there mm-hmm. yeah yeah you also a, have to yeah you know, there's there's a pretty but sad yeah. stuff. wait what there's that <laughs> yeah uh, I don't, I don't even want to get into it this <laughs> is it's a very harsh game uh, I want to be clear I did not play that because I don't like jump scares so that was not a game yeah. for me but I watched it being played it's magnificent. But I absolutely will not play anything that will jump out with a zombie. Oh, no. It is a great piece of art. I don't know if I'll ever play it again. It is very intense. But it's like what they wanted. Very intense. Very uh, serious. Very emotional. Um, But, man, that game had me for a ride, for sure. I saw a Twitch Um, clip involving a bunny, and I opted out. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Nega. (laughs) Yeah. There's a lot of, yeah, like, Nega. Yeah. uh, Just search for that clip if you want to see it. (laughs) But it's uh, straight funny nobody. in a traumatic way. Yeah. Um, you. yeah. So uh, I'm I'm sure if I'm your GM, um, and uh, so I'm playing all kind of NPCs with all kind of pronouns and all kind of names and great stuff. Um, and fun fact about me is I I own oh god how many um, eight calculators that are diff- eight different models of calculator, I should say. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and I should say eight different model of graphing calculators as well. So do they're, they they're, do uh, different math? <laughs> I don't so, know nothing about math. <laughs> that actually would be funny. If, uh, do they do different math? This one math's in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. So like all these students have different calculators and I have to know, how to do different functions because it's not just like oh, right. so you can- arithmetic. It's it's like, I got to know how to like do a, a, a normal distribution thing or, you know, or like, or that kind of stuff. So I need to like know how to operate each, each, uh, each, each one. So I have the Casios, I have the is Texas this Instruments the, ones. The is HPs. this to make sure they're not yeah, cheating? I do not have an 89 actually because the 89s are awful. Um, hot calculator takes this morning. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> hot, hot is not here to make calculator friends. Okay, I'm here to make I, okay. friends. Listen, yeah? I, I don't want to. I don't want to start anything. But TI eighty nine, you could legitimately program to have like text, like Tetris, Mario, like. True. There were some amazing functions that you can. It was like a little pocket protector in your calculator. I'm really hoping this clip gets cut out so that people don't think I have strong preferences in calculators, but I also... But can it math in Spanish? I don't know. I'm kidding. There would be, like, games that... I, I don't even know. I don't know if I should say this. There, there is um, a... a Let's say let's say there was a party favors game that yes. you could have. Yes. And, oh, okay, Sharif, you know what I'm talking about. It where is. You would literally be Party a favor little, war. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you'd be a budding entrepreneur and yes. have to go to different sections of the city to... Uh, get better yeah. prices for it's a great game about bought. supply and demand it's yeah. a great economics game yeah yeah you learn pretty learn flashback yes. call is happening right now uh, 
Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's my fun fact. Probably not a surprise <laughs> to people, <laughs> but I think it's pretty fun, you know, uh, because you know I have to, I have to, you know, like a, like a did depending on the student I'm meeting with, I have to pull out my my uh, drawer and say, oh, look, they are using this calculator. So, oh, yeah. I didn't do a fun fact. My hair is purple. Yay! Uh, it looks so good, and it looks glorious. That yeah. is very fun. Um, yeah, Amazing. cool. Um, now, is is this have have you ever had any other colors? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. liter literally the only okay. color. I, I mean, this this the past two years have been like I had certain hairstyles that I was doing for work, uh, so I didn't do my usual thing. But normally, I I think the only colors I haven't done right now are blue and green, and then I guess <laughs> technically yellow or orange okay blue green yellow orange i haven't done but okay. you know orange nice. sounds real nice actually awesome awesome well well it it looks great uh so yeah, awesome um speaking of great uh why don't we uh, do a little recap of what happened in in the town of Techburg uh during our last episode um because a lot did happen for sure um who wants to start off with either a general recap or what happened specifically to your character that you can recall? And I'll fill in, fill in the gaps. Well, after last week, I don't think people want me to do them anymore. I don't understand no, why. Um, I think you volunteered to, to do them always, I think is what I mean, yeah, this is your I job. Too. <laughs> you did sign up for this. So, yeah, all the Noir. Uh... <laughs> Y'all gave the person with the worst memory this job. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so when we last picked off, uh, <laughs> picked off, wow, it's going to be a morning. When we last kicked off, uh, we were all in the classroom. Uh, we learned through uh, Four's, uh, Four's adventurous experimentational nature that going outside simply leads you coming back into the room. Um, sure. uh, and with any good experiment, he did it a few more times to make sure that that effect was consistent. Uh, we scientific method. We determined that it was, you know. Uh, uh, then uh, Mana figured out the cause of what was making everything so tipsy turvy. It was a pencil sharpener. So, uh, and so by adjusting the pencil sharpener, we were able to return. Uh, to the old, uh, to the normal world. Uh, so that, uh, that happened, and wow, I'm actually drawing a full on flick. <laughs> I mean, that's how that happened, right? I mean, yeah, like, that, that was three that's hours. It. That's of, it. Of no, that. uh, then after that, uh, we, we, uh, went to class, and we had lunch mm -hmm. with the principal, uh, mm -hmm. which was, which was awkward. I know I'm skipping a bunch of stuff. I'm so sorry, I'm panicking. Um, <laughs> I strangely enough remember what everybody was eating though. Uh, the principal had a meatball <laughs> had sandwich. Food. Yeah, the principal had a meatball. Sandwich. <laughs> he did have a grinder. I he, he, he did look, have a, meat, a meatball. I didn't get this shape by slacking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is there was some closet shenanigans where we tried to fit uh, into a closet and that ended poorly. Mm -hmm. um, uh, <laughs> Uh, I also remember uh, the the bio lab has now been locked. Um, That's right. Some people may have been duped into believing that the bio lab was a bathroom. Um, allegedly. Allegedly, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, I and any know. and anybody can fall for that, really. Um, uh, Mana continues to prove to be the leader of the group by making good decisions, which are the antithesis of the decisions that Four is making. But, you know, you need that kind of balance on the scales, you know? Um, uh, I believe we left off trying to make a plan to get into the bio lab after school. Uh, but Four, being Four, did his own thing and went back into the tentacle dimension. Uh, Winter is desperately trying to get us to name it something else. Uh, we're not gonna. Literally anything. <laughs> we, we we are gonna. It's the tentacle uh, dimension now forever. Uh, and uh, and uh, now we're trying to get into the bio lab by staying hidden mm -hmm. after school. Uh, yes. Waiting for the security guards and all the uh, children to leave the hallway so that we can sneak in and see 
Uh, the most important thing here that I think we're all leaving behind, what's going on with Metal's science experiment? We really it's need to check so that important. out. <laughs> that is the overarching thing, yes. Uh, do, do you remember why y'all went in the closet? Does like anybody remember what why why y'all went? Oh in the yeah, we we lied. Well, well, we we went in there to try and sneak into the bio lab, uh, yes. and it failed miserably. The principal, uh, our principal, lied and said that we had daily pranks, which uh, yes. I remember writing down in my notes that I don't have <laughs> with me right now. <laughs> That'll come That's into play later. Notes. Yeah, not to I, have them. Yeah, you know, yeah. I. It's it's all right here. It's, this is a lockbox, which I'm showing it's not true. Uh, <laughs> and that's uh, that's yeah, so, what I recall. Yeah, so like you went in the closet. If 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 you remember, Felix and Mary, the superintendent, were like in front of the bio lab, right? So right. like yeah, we're looking to you know uh, kind of make a stealthy thing, and like literally no one passed the check, and it wasn't that high. But everybody failed it. So y'all spilled out into the, uh, you know, into, into the hallway. Um, a couple other cool things happened. Do you guys remember anything involving the passcode to the bio lab? Yeah, the passcode is one two three four five. That's five. right, one two three four five. Yes. Yeah. Do, do you um, remember how how you got the passcode? That stuff, man. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> It yeah, was a team yeah. effort and unbelievable that we somehow passed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If 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 you remember, this was when you were um, you know having lunch um, out out uh, by the North Tree, which is like Mon Mona's spot, um, and you know, uh, Kay uh, sorry, sorry, not Kaylee. Me 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 Meadow was questioning Felix about I need to get into the lab. So he mentioned, oh yeah, th there's a uh, passcode. And then y'all had the phenomenal idea because Me Meadow stole all these office supplies from Miss Jenkins' room when you were in there. So she handed him a post-it and said, hey, why don't you write it down here so you don't forget it? Uh, and everybody piled in their adversity tokens, right? And y'all passed this night, this check of 19, which is very high. Um, but y'all, uh, y'all passed it. So he wrote it down on the, on the post-it and then took off the top, but then y'all were able to, you know, to, um, I forgot what that's called. Like, uh, what is that called when you do that? Maybe. Is there a name for that? Graveyard rubbing on it. <laughs> that's basically what is, we did. That's literally the, the only Is that what it's called? It. Well, it's but, like, you know, that's what people do with like tracing paper. Yeah, I, yeah, I just, I, I, if that's not what it's called, that's what it's called now. <laughs> that's what it's called now, sure. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so like, and, and like, I even, I even think that, like, uh, I think it was Meadow that, like, mentioned that, like, he has to write extra hard. Yeah, I mean, you press it. down. I don't know. These <laughs> are, they're brand new, they're new post it. So, you know, gotta... um, yeah, so, oh. so, so, yes, yeah, so, like, y'all, 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 able to get that passcode, which was, Great for me as a GM because I had written this whole thing about how you were going to get the password, like a whole <laughs> adventure and whoops, out the window, which is like one of the fun things. No, 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 no. That's I'm I'm Our I'm bad. very happy. I'm I'm very happy that uh, y'all y'all uh, actually I uh, did that. Trust me, if I really didn't want you to do it, I would have set it for like a forty or something, sure. something ridiculous where like, you would have to look. I'm doing the best I can to bring the stupid. On... They're too smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, I'm a I'm a big believer in like if y'all think of a dope idea, I will gladly change what I had planned. Um, you know, because like that's 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 why this game's awesome. Um, yeah, um, yeah. So. Uh, as uh, was mentioned, uh, I was asking sort of like what people did on their breaks. Um, I believe Mana went to home ec to get some salt. Um, so like she like a refilled on, on her uh, salt intake um, because we noticed back in the first episode that when we saw uh, Mary, the like superintendent, um, if you recall too, we passed Mary on the way into the school and then we saw Mary in the school. So who knows uh, who this is um she threw salt at uh and like and and, and it seemed to affect um her face right so so um so uh, she refilled on the salt um winter went to see felix in his office um F F felix actually we're on this he's very shocked and he thinks he is like 
I've finally gotten through the winter. Like I've, you know, so, so, so he clearly thinks that we're friends. Winter gave him the idea that tentacle is a slang word. So he's been throwing it into his uh, phrases now, and that will continue without a doubt. Um, I wrote down a whole list of them. <laughs> so, so we will definitely be using those for sure. Um, uh, I was a tent fool. You were a tent fool. Um, yeah. Uh, and yeah, and for cut, cut class um, ran into Miss Jenkins' room uh, after being tackled by uh, Charlie, the, sec- the security guard, uh, adjusted the sharpener went into this dimension, tried to get to the bio lab, but ended up kind of wrapping around to the same hallway. Um, but he also noticed that there were no no other sharpeners in the other rooms, even though you know that there are in the quote unquote real world, there were no sharpeners in the room, only this one Jenkins room. So he goes back and uh, Charlie, uh, you know, kind of escorts him out the room because he, he failed his flight check. Uh, and I kind of clarified as well that it's not like four disappeared from everybody's view. Like he came back in the exact same, um, the exact same time that he left. So, so to to like Miss Jenkins and the class and like uh, Charlie, it looked like you just ran in and just touched a sharpener and got arrested. (laughs) Well, 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 not arrested and, and like got like, you know, uh, escorted out. So, so key thing to, to remember is that this isn't like, like you're essentially stopping real time and, you know, g- going into this thing. So it might come in handy later, y'all. Um, Four is and... ever the scientist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. This, this mm-hmm. is this is like, th- yeah, this is all your science project. This is all your uh, T. Bergen uh, science, science-y mm-hmm. thing. Um, and I think that's all I had down. Um, anything else uh, anyone can recall that you want to bring up that happened last episode? Maybe our different hiding places yeah. that we... Uh, oh, yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I did not write that. <laughs> I probably should have. Um, I know four went to the gym. Um, Meadow, I believe, was just trying to hang out in the... I was back in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's right. Uh, Met, 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 Meadows, but back back in the closet. Uh, where did winter? Where did winter go at the end of the episode? Or where do you want to be? Because we can always just place you somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. if We decided. So my guess is that winter just hid out in the bathroom. She just told Felix that she was having friends, and and they had a a moment despite her best efforts not to. And I'm pretty sure winter just like hid in the bathroom for a while. Okay. So you you went to the bio lab, great. Um, <laughs> and uh, where did Mana go at the end of last? That was the best one. <laughs> uh, Mana, uh, in halfway through last class, Mana said that she was going to the nurse because uh, her spiritual guides told her she needed right. to. Uh, and I remember somebody in chat came up with a really good outline with her saying that and i can't remember what they said it was like oh it was so good um but she then took the padlock off her locker and then just right in her locker <laughs> right right that's right i cannot believe i did not write that down i apologize everybody but uh yeah so we have then where everyone is and if if you remember we're waiting till about five o'clock um to try to see the original plan was to, you know, try to see if you can get into the bio lab, you know, net, 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 now that you have the passcode, obviously you couldn't get in earlier because of Felix and, um, you know, and uh, Mary were in front of the door. Um, so that's where we're going to start people. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to update the map here. Uh, Cause we have a new area. Oh, here. oh, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So we this here is the uh, this is the inside of the school. Um, so as you see, the kind of lower left is like the entrance to the school. Uh, the kind of outside, all those doors are like classrooms. Um, you see on the top there is the bio lab and the keypad. Um, opposite that is the bathroom that Ford thought was the bio lab, um, and also labeled the closet that y'all. Um, 
tried to hide in in which meadow is in now <laughs> um and the, this like kind of middle like a uh, like a uh, air area is the bio lab but like you can only get in th through that door on the top all the other doors on the left right and the bottom are like one-way doors with no handles so if you're in there you can exit but you can't get in from the from the uh from the beginning so so yeah, so this is where we're going to na try to navigate um, to get to uh, the bio lab. Um, so, uh, does everyone? Well, I want to say that everybody is um, in here, um, but does anybody want to do anything like a four? I know that you're at the gym. Is there anything that you want to do like before five? Um, because like Mount Mana and like Meadow or. <laughs> You know, just chilling for two hours in, 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 in a tight claustrophobic space. Um, uh, all four is going to be doing is getting in his reps. You know, he's got to he's got to clean the temple, you know, mm -hmm. got to forge the stone. OK, <laughs> so while you are doing your reps, um, Coach D comes by. Uh, he sees you, uh, you know, um, are you using a spotter or not? Are you uh, using like somebody or are you just trying to he, just he, be a, he would have a spotter, yeah. it's, it's, you know, part of, part of getting your, your, yourself right is making sure that you follow safety guidelines and most importantly, make sure that you're doing the right posture, you know, the right, the right positioning. So he's got somebody, he doesn't Ooh, need sure. the spotter, but yeah, you know. Okay. All right. So uh, as you're doing your uh, reps, actually, you know what? Why don't you roll a oh, brawn? Because I want to see how good you are at these reps. I want to see if you're actually doing them or you are having Who, some trouble. Who's ready oh, for some buddy. embarrassment? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. 14. Ooh. Okay. 14. Yeah, yeah, you're... You're I had exploding pretty good, man. dice, y'all. What's up? That's right. That's right. Yeah. The, yeah. So, 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 like for like all the, all the new uh, people, every stat has a certain die attached to it. But if you roll the maximum of that die, you get to like roll a second time or a third time, fourth time. It just keeps on exploding. So if you have a D four and you roll a four, you can roll again. If you have a D six, roll six, roll again. All that kind of stuff. So Nora, which is the benefit of that. Uh, mm. So he got a fourteen. It's uh, all day, baby. You're all day. You're, you're you're looking pretty good. You know, you, you are like pretty easily getting your reps, and you're actually doing a little bit better than normal, I'd say. Um, you know, um, and then you hear Coach D's voice say, "I'll take over, thanks." Um, and your original spotter leaves. And Coach D is there, uh, kind of like with his hands down, you know, like wait, waiting for you in case you need some help to like put that bar down. And and, and like he like says, looking good, mm. looking good. Or thanks, Dougal. Ah, hey, hey, how, how how how's it going, man? <laughs> it's going well. Um, not many people call me Dougal though. Just Coach D is fine. Um, Go I got a question. How come you haven't uh, tried out for the wrestling team at all? Uh, and he puts he puts the bar up. It's like I don't know, man. It's just like it's, it's it's like not my thing, bro. Like I just like to make sure that I look good, but like I don't need to actually prove or anything or anything like that, man. It, it, and I've got a lot of my own stuff going on. Party. Well, we could really use you. Um, you know, um, I really want to bring this school up to the glory um, that I think that it like deserves. Plus, I heard that there's a uh, there's a uh, freaking turnips. Uh, you know that uh, that they got some new uh, some uh, new uh, talent, and I'd like to be able to, you know, make sure that Techburg has the the best team. So, sorry, that the T Bergen uh, Academy of Science is the best team in Techburg. So. Um, I know that if you join, you know, uh, I'll, uh, I'll make sure you, uh, are okay if you join, you know, but, but like, I think it could be a good benefit if one of the most prominent families, you know, um, in the area has a, 
as a person on the team. I gotta be honest with you, Coach D. Like, like I think you're cool. Like, I think you're pretty sweet. But thing is, wrestling is like that's a lot of conflict and that's like a lot of fighting and stuff. And like, I'm not about it. Well, it's not really fighting, um, but uh, I I understand. Just just I think about it though. Okay. Um, all right. All right. You know. Um, by the way, uh, you, you notice anything weird about uh, just anything? Any, any anything catch your eye in in the school? Because I just got a feeling some some weirds going on, and like I feel like you would probably be in the know because you have connections to a lot of folks. Uh, and like, I'm a little worried about my job, to be honest. Uh, well, everybody so. loves you, Coach D. Like, you've got nothing to worry about, dude. Yeah, everyone loves me, but you know, there's a lot of politics at school. You know, I'm, I don't know why I'm talking about this with like a student, but you know, I'm, I, I, I just feel like I, I'm just at a moment where I need to tell somebody. Um, and, uh, you know, just, just let me know if you see anything, if, if you feel anything weird, anything strange. Um, just got a feeling that, you know, something's going on. Like, what do you think is strange right now, man? <sighs> Sometimes, wait, promise you're not going to laugh. I promise, dude. And like, he, 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 uh, looks around. There's not many people around, um, your like area of, of, of the gym. Um, but he does, he like kind of kneels down like a next you. He's a, he's a pretty husky guy. So when he kneels down, you know, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's like a serious thing. Um, and he basically says like, man, sometimes I feel, um, like someone's watching me over my shoulder, but I feel like it's like, it's me watching myself over my shoulder. Bro, that's wild. Yeah, like there was one time where I was, um, you know, I was just do, do doing my rounds, um, just like looking for kids that were uh, cutting uh, class. And I kind of felt somebody looking at me and I looked backwards and I feel like I saw myself. Like, I don't know anything about like seeing yourself dude but like there's some strange stuff going around in this school like I feel it too like sometimes when you jump out of windows man things get weird uh wait what, what what's your experience with a window wait did, did, did you see yourself in a window because that's just a reflection uh, like, 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 I mean, I actually saw him. I feel like I actually saw myself. Oh, what? Wait, 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 maybe, maybe it was a window. Oh God, this is so stupid. I'm, wait, did you I'm see sorry. Yourself through a window, I'm sorry. I, I even, I, I even brought this up. I'm sorry. This is, this is so ridiculous. Oh God. Oh right. D you, 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 you like real, really, you, you really screwed this up this time. Hey D <sighs> it's all right, buddy. Like it's cool. We all make mistakes. Like, you know, just like, don't worry about it. Be chill. Party, dude. Yeah. Are you like petting him? <laughs> you're like, like I'm you're petting him on the shoulder. <laughs> you're just like buff, petting him on the head. Buff hand on his shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, th then, th then like he, he likes us. Thanks. Um, I have a lot of people that, you know, um, can really talk to uh you know felix uh doesn't seem like he really wants to be around me and that superintendent oh my god uh right all i gotta he's say like, is don't get in a room with her That's all he's all weird and tentacly or whatever dude Ooh, make a uh make a charm roll <laughs> okay all right here we go thaddeus come on that don't Fat this up, man. Oh. He, he, he went full fat. You never go full fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you oh. wrote a three. Um, yeah, that happened. But this is not that high of a check because he's like right in front of you, right? Um, when you say tentacly, um, you see again his uh, 
you see his gait kind of change like a little bit. Um, and he basically says, what'd you say? I said like that superintendent is like tentacly, dude. All right. He gets up and starts to back away. And he says, you're with them, aren't you? Stay away from me. And he starts to walk away. I just got to yell at him, like, who am I with? <laughs> yeah, he is He is walking away, but, like, looking back at you as he's hurriedly walking out of the gym. Oh, no. Who am I with? <laughs> is yeah. it, like, around five now? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so anybody else want to do anything before the five o'clock time? Nah, I'm just chilling in a closet. <laughs> You're chilling in the closet. Uh, Ma- and- Mana's, yeah, uh, yeah Ma- Mana is uh, spending the time to go over new sounds that she wants to incorporate into her next mixtape. So she's uh, she's listening to a couple of songs on repeat. Uh, one is uh, That's the Way Love Goes by Janet Jackson. Ooh, nice <laughs> Classic. Pick. You know, I for some reason, and you can totally tell me if I'm wrong, I get a sense that Mana's locker is set up in case you have to dive in there. So there's like, there's snacks, <laughs> there's mixtapes, there's some batteries for your Walkman, you know, like, uh, and because you're, you know, you're like 11 and a half, so like you can fit in there, you know, like, it's not like you're like, you know, trying to fit, in, you know, like having a hard time fit. So I feel like you're like, this yeah, isn't that bad. I could do this for two hours. It's, a, it's yeah. like a little meditation space for her. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's not I, weird at all. Oh, no. Not at all. No. No. Uh, I think Winter is probably uh, doing what she loves, which is taking notes and pretending that the bathroom stall is broken and just sitting there and taking notes on every single conversation that happens. Yes, incredible. <laughs> Mm, okay cool awesome so are you like are you um i guess are you trying to act like you're not in there like you're trying to be super quiet you know oh, <laughs> like, yeah you put the seat down know. and then you just crouch and then you just take out your notepad and just write down everything you hear oh shoot this sounds like <laughs> this, this sounds like you've done this <laughs> i i have not but winter winter this is like has. her like number yeah. one pastime oh i like this i like this so like when winter's up on the gas up, I like this. Yeah, she's um, into surveillance. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, so I'll say that um you do pick up a little bit of a conversation. So two people come in, um, you don't recognize their voices. Um, but they do sound like they're um older women, like well not older women, but like de- definitely not kids, right? Um, and, they, and they don't sound like any of the teachers that you are familiar with. Um, and you hear w- one of them say, like, um, can you believe they put a, a lock on the on the bio lab? Uh, and then the uh, other teacher says, shh, shh, there, there might be somebody in here. And they kind of look around. They look, uh, they don't obviously open up the stalls, but they kind of like pause for a minute. And, and 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 then as as a pause, um, I want you to roll a roll a dog. Um, she just wants yeah. to join in, you know. She does want to join in. She's um, about to she's about to blow up your spot, though. <laughs> she is, she is. And they hear the dog, and they stop talking about what they're <laughs> they talking about. Uh, no, uh, let me. Oh God! Why did not I have this ready? Um, okay, so uh, I will just c- continue their conversation as I'm looking for this. Um, yeah, so so like uh, they they like basically say, yeah, well, of course they put a lock on it. Like you know that those uh, turnips have been trying to uh, steal what's in there. Like you do know what's in there, right? Well, of course I do. Who doesn't know that? Like we definitely ought to make sure that. Uh, not only that they don't hear about it, but that the that the students don't hear about it, right? But they have experiments in there, right? Well, yeah, but, you know, uh, there's some other stuff in there as well that, uh, you know, we should really keep track of. 
um and like and 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 like they're like mentioning all this stuff um and as they're talking oh my god what is going on with my document here um i will i want you to roll a let's see i want you to roll a f- flight which is technically evading their problems. And I would say you're evading the problem of trying to make too much noise. Ooh, so seven. Oh, you rolled a fight. Seven. Oh, I fight. Never mind. No, flight. I mean, if you want to like jump out of the stall and just in, case, but just in case your flight is higher than your... Oh, sorry. Yeah, just in case... Ah, uh, dang it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you do make... Um, you're like uh, trying to like reposition yourself. Um, you do make some noise, and they immediately stop talking and they walk out of the uh, the bathroom. Um, so, but you did get some information. Um, so cool. Also, right. does this mean that they force the teachers and the students to go use the same bathroom? Uh, I mean, it, if if it's a teacher, if they're wow. teachers. These aren't people that you recognize, that you've heard their voices. Um, and I get the feeling that Winner is fairly per- perceptive. Like she would have rec- like she would have recognized if this was somebody at the school. Now, like she doesn't know every teacher, but she, she's probably at least heard a good good majority of them and would be yeah. able to tell. So, I think it's super yeah. normal to memorize everybody in the yearbook on day one. That way you always know who you're speaking to. Why not? Why not? I love that. All right, so um, so I'll say it's five o'clock or five o'clock ish, um, and y'all are all in the school, so you don't have to worry about trying to get into the school. Um, and at five o'clock, you kind of hear um, uh, Charlie kind of walking around, and well, 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 I say that both uh, Meadow and um, and Amana hear. Charlie leave and kind of lock the door to the outside of the school. Um, you, you all know that at five o'clock, that's when the school like it like normally locks down for the day. Um, and it's five o'clock. So what do y'all want to do? Uh, I'm going to like open the closet door and like open it a crack just to see mm-hmm. if there's anybody in the hallways, like listen first and then. Yep. Uh, there's nobody there and like you can't hear anything um it sounds completely quiet uh okay i'm i want to dash over to the door and open it okay uh it's to the uh, to the uh, bio lab okay to the bio lab yeah so you uh dash over there you and en- enter the code um door opens okay i'm just going to like close it like just dash around and just close it really fast just so that i'm in here are you are, are you in the bi- are you going in the bio lab and then closing the door behind you or or closing it just to verify that you can open it oh i was gonna because i don't want to get caught in the hallway um so okay. i was gonna go into the bio lab and shut the door okay yeah so like Hi. you're in the bio lab now okay great um so what you see around you is um uh, you know, exactly what you saw the last time that you were in there, right? You see there's a bunch of lab tables. Um, there's like the like refrigeration stations, you know, which is, a, you, you know, where there's labs that need to be cold. There's a bunch of test tubes. Um, there is, though, what you do notice, and it's not too out of the ordinary, but there's one experiment that looks like it is like active, like it's like somebody is actively doing something right now. So like there's like some liquid in a uh, flask that like looks like it's bubbling, right? Um, and it's uh, connected to some other uh, tubes. Um, everything else is like put away, um, but this experiment looks like it is like actively going on. And there's nobody else in here. No one in there. Are there windows in any of the other doors? Like, can I look into the hallway to see if there's people coming, or can I be seen from a door? Uh. Th- so from the outside, because remember, when you're out in the hallway, like the walls of the bio lab are like to your right, basically, mm-hmm. you know, um, so you didn't notice any windows in there. But when you're in the bio lab, there are windows out into the hallway. 
So like they're like basically like one way windows. Oh. So so you can see outside. But no one, uh, but you can't see you can't see in from the Yes, outside. correct. Hmm. Okay. Um then I'll like keep an eye out for the rest of the team uh while I check out this experiment, maybe that's Ooh, well, what what do you want to check out about it? So it's a it's a it's a flask of liquid that's bubbling up into tubes. Yes. Yeah, and and so so yeah, it's it's like bubbling up in into tubes, and and, and then what's coming out of it is being c- collected in like another larger flask, basically. Um, I yeah, I just I want to take a closer look. I want to see if I recognize either liquids or like mm-hmm. what exactly they're trying to like distill or extract from one thing to another. Yeah, you definitely get a sense that it's some kind of distillation. Um, one thing you do notice as you get a little closer is that the flask that's bubbling is not being heated. It's just sitting there. It looks like it's being heated, though. Like, it looks like the reaction that you notice if you were, like, you know, he- heating a flask and it was evaporating into a thing. But it's just there bubbling and stuff is get- getting collected in the other flask. It's it's like it's it's... It's like uh, happening very slowly, though. Uh. Is it okay? And is it a liquid that I recognize, like color or consistency? Or oh, if it's like consistent, that? do you want to try to touch it, like consistency wise? No, or, oh, or no. Uh, just from there's no touching. <laughs> like, you don't touch. <laughs> I wonder you can if tell it tastes if something like is water nice or oil. Or yeah, blood um, or... it looks like you cannot quite ping what this is yeah this is so it's not a familiar it liquid at all it's not a familiar liquid no um mm-hmm. okay and is it on a bunsen burner or is it reacting on its own it's reacting on its own it's not being heated um, it is like on like sort of like a big metal kind of um plate but there's no heating happening with it though it looks like it is being heated can i touch the edge of the metal plate to see if it's yeah, sure. conduction. No. Uh, if you hot. touch it, uh, it's pretty hot. Ow. Okay. Like very hot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm going to go check on my experiment. Is anybody here yet? No one's there yet. Uh, but okay. as you are reacting from the heat, uh, Mana, um, you also heard uh, Charlie leave, um, and you just know that that's sort of when things are closed closed off. Um, how do you exit the, the locker? Uh, yeah, uh, Mana is uh, in there mixing sounds that she got off of the radio with uh, two tape decks. Yeah, uh, let's yeah. say um, Vogue by Madonna and. <laughs> Tom's Diner by Suzanne Vega. <laughs> she's uh, she's finding she's finding what message needs to be said between those two, um, and then when she hears that uh, Charlie has left, she puts that down for right then and then sneaks out of uh, the locker, looks around, and is like, "Yes, this was my guide steered me right." Uh, twirls her cape <laughs> behind her. <laughs> then, you know, uh, close up her locker, put her padlock on it. Uh, she and then she heads to the the bio lab. Okay. The, uh, yeah. Do, she realizes do you go in as well? Yeah, she realizes while she's standing there is like, oh yeah, we we didn't say where we should meet. Probably inside. <laughs> she, you know, one, two, three, four, five to mm-hmm. then go into the bio lab. Yep. Okay, so you 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 go in uh, right as Kaylee is reacting from uh, she like looks like she touched something and she's kind of reeling back. Sorry, sorry, not Kaylee Meadow. The uh, Meadow. <sighs> Hi, Mona. Is that your experiment? Was someone else doing it? How dare they? No, this isn't my experiment. I just came in and it was here, and this is very hot, and I can't tell if it's a because it's a conduction plate or if the the liquid itself is heating the metal or the metal is heating the liquid well i'm not much of a science person but 
that means that, I mean, someone wouldn't just leave that and then leave for the day because that's very irresponsible. And, you know, that karma would come so. around back around to someone. So we might need to look out for someone still being here. Mm. You're right. Very good. Uh, all right. So winter, uh, you also know it's five o'clock. Um, how do you, and, and the bathroom is like right across. Right. So, so like you've actually heard people go into the bio lab. Um, you've heard t- two, two people so far g- go inside. Um, what do you do? Well, first I unpress myself from, from the, the wall because I was putting my ear up there to make sure I heard every single sound. Mm-hmm. And I like look around like Mission Impossible style and I like slowly open the door and there's no one there. And then I tiptoe for no reason. No one's around, <laughs> I think. Just in case. Looking around just to be extra sure because you never know who's watching. It could be me. And then I immediately run to the bio lab Punch in the numbers and go, hey guys. <sighs> I'm very jumpy today. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Winter. Have you seen four? No, I thought he was with you. No. Did we lose twin souls somewhere? Oh, no. I mean, He'll remember where this room is, right? Uh, <laughs> well, okay, maybe somebody keeps watching to make sure he doesn't go into the bathroom by mistake. Maybe. I was just there. He's not there. Oh, okay. Oh, Lord. I didn't think about if he. All right. So, sure four. He yeah, he's sorry. I was away. Four. You are uh, in the gym. In the gym, you know, it's, it's not a big school, right? I mean, it's not like the, like the gym is in the building. You're like literally a. 30 second walk from the bio lab. Um, you just had this encounter with Coach D. Um, how are you getting to the lab? I didn't think to see if he would remember how to get there. <laughs> um, Buddy. Well, he's he's going to just... Coach D walked away from him. So that, that makes that easy. Um... But in terms of him remembering, I think um, I think he's gonna check a bathroom first, but realize there's no key code, and then just look for whatever door has a key code. So if there's another door that has a key code, we might have a problem. <laughs> this is the only door with a keypad. So All you right, lucked out. you've lucked out. All right, then in that case. Um, in that case, we, we should be all right. Uh, he's just going to make his way there and knock. Okay. All right. <laughs> so so y- y'all hear the knock. And, like, you can't see out the door, so you don't know who's knocking. Well, you might expect it's him, but, you, 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 like, you can't see it's him. I'll get it. Okay. Okay. My, um, are there any lab coats around? Yep. Okay. Uh, Mana's going <laughs> to grab a lab coat to put it on because in her head, that's like a disguise. And now they have a legitimate reason to be in there if, if she's wearing a lab coat. So okay. uh, she she grabs a lab coat and a clipboard and like and then just walks over to the front door and like breathes and then pulls it open and go, who is it? <laughs> oh, it, it's 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 me. Hey, I. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot the code. How did you forget the code? Can you do you do you count? Yeah, you can yeah, count. I count. You count reps, right? My, my name is Florid. <laughs> like I couldn't. And, and I you, you, but you forgot the code. But if I if I couldn't Your count, your name I would... is in the code. Yeah. So like, how's your? plant or whatever oh i totally <laughs> forgot i have to let me count let me check out my experiment <laughs> and i run over to one of the um uh yeah, like a big fridge basically there's yeah. a different fridge yeah so why don't you describe what your experiment is and what it looks like 
So um, I'm trying to create a completely closed self-sustaining hydroponic system using turnip greens and sea monkeys. So yeah, it looks like a plant, but um, I, I was just trying to kind of describe the most distinctive part of it to four because I was worried he, he wouldn't really understand the hydroponic system using turnip greens and sea monkeys, um, which I think is fair. So I pull out like a little like, um, spherical glass tank that on top of it has a just seed turnip green seedlings kind of mm -hmm. growing through it and I check on my sea monkeys to make sure that they're still kind of kicking in there okay um yeah I mean your experiment looks you know like you left it except for one thing uh you said there were turnip turnip seeds in this right yeah like little seedlings or, oh okay Turnip seedlings look a lot bigger than you remember. Like significantly larger than you remember. Well, I guess they're cuttings, turnips, or bulbs, whatever. Plants. Um, <laughs> like it's been growing longer than it should have? Yeah, from what you would expect uh, from this, they look unnaturally larger than they should be. Are the sea monkeys bigger? Just the plant. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's probably for the best. <laughs> like this, Suddenly like not even any of massive sea here. monkeys enter the lab. They <laughs> 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 have uh, tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> the sea monkeys have tentacles. Everybody go. Uh, Is it all right? Yeah. Everything alive that should be alive. Everything is alive that should be alive. These are slightly more alive than they're supposed to be. I mean, this is an amazing hydroponic system. I won't lie. Wow. How'd you Thanks. get the water fluidity to go through all, all through it? Um, right now I'm trying, I'm working with just um, the movement of the sea monkeys themselves and their general activity, providing enough uh, current circulation uh, for the roots to oxygenate. Amazing. I ha I, why, why don't they look like monkeys? And like Monica goes over and like taps the glass. Like, <laughs> I've I've seen these in comics, and they always look like they're they're little monkeys under the sea, like playing like instruments and having a good time. These don't look like monkeys. No. Do they grow into them? No, I no. I hope not. I don't think these are gonna grow into monkeys. They're kind of they're more like bugs. They're more like swimming bugs, like little baby shrimps. Yes, they're basically tiny tiny shrimps. Exceptional poop, though. I'm sure that's what it, that's what's causing the the turnips to grow. Is exceptional poop. Right. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. It's all about the that's the nutrient for the plants. Hmm. <laughs> um. Uh. As you all having this incredible conversation uh, about poop, uh, you start to hear bubbling, more intense bubbling coming from that flask that I would say is in like the middle of this. So, so like the, uh, you like entered, you know, on the map on the top part there. So that green, those green squares basically are where this experiment is. And you start to um, hear some more intense bubbling coming from it. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to put, I'm going to put my guys back in the cooler and mm -hmm. close in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Run back over. Um, does it smell like anything? Uh, you don't smell anything from where you are, but if you want to do a lean in a little bit, <laughs> I wouldn't stop you. I'm so worried about this. Um, I get a lab coat. This is this is serious. Um, <laughs> yeah, but Mana, Mana sees like the, the goggles that they have and there's goggles, yep. Passes out goggles Thank to everybody. You. Oh, safety first. Fun. Are we fun. stealing? No, these are for safety use for the lab, which is supposed to be public. I don't know why they locked it. Yeah, this, this is where our tax dollars are going. And by our tax dollars, I mean mostly our parents' tax dollars. I don't think your parents pay taxes for it. If my guides tell me that this is mine, I will take it with me. My dad says taxes are for suckers. Okay. Uh, uh. I'm going to... I'm going to try and, and do that chemistry thing where you, like, waft the mm -hmm. steam 
over the because I learned about lab safety. That's something I I did. Sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. So like you're putting your hand near there. You're trying to waft waft some of this smell over there. And I'll say um, all of y'all smell this. Um, it smells like a like a vegetable. Does it smell like a turnip? Does it smell like a turnip? It smells like a turnip. Why would they be experimenting on vegetables? And this what? is liquid. So Remember, this is this is liquid bubbling. It looks like it's not being heated into another flask that's also liquid. So, but it smells like turnip, though. Sure does. I gotta, I gotta yeah. kind of confess, y'all. Like we spent so much time trying to get in here. But I don't even know why I'm in here. <laughs> like it's just looking around. Uh, I mean, I was here for the experiment, but also because they were trying so hard to not let us in here. Yeah, why? What do they want to keep from us? Like this, all their, I guess. Well, it's this just vegetables and and stuff. But it's not vegetables. Is the liquid clear? Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 fairly. It's not. 100% clear, but it's 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 somewhat clear, yeah. Can I eat it? I wouldn't that is not as a as a scientist I mean, ingesting the experiment is the is is the very very last step when you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Mm, Are your fortune favors the bold. <laughs> is is this uh, is this Bonna, what you want to do? Do you want to Anna passes her the 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 pipette, was it the pipette? <laughs> Where it's yeah. just like and well, she's just at, like this now. Well, as you touch the pipette, it is extremely, extremely hot. No, no, no. The pipettes are the little, they're the little um, stoppers. Like the droplet? Oh, oh no. I, I, I know what you're talking about. Extremely hot. No, no, no. Like the disposable ones? The the little... I, I know the, what you're talking about. No, no, no. I, they're not, a, <laughs> not attached to the experiment. Like they're in a drawer next to it. Okay. Those. All right, I, I, I will. Am, am, I the, am I saying the wrong term? <laughs> no, no, I, I, I will. Uh, as soon as you lie. put it in, guess what? Extremely hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening. I'm not using it. I'm passing it to winter. Right, that's the thing. It's just like, if it's going to be hot, it's going to be winter that's dealing with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So, 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 so you pass you a disposable pipette from another drawer. Uh, what, what, what do y'all do? Uh, it's really hot, so I also take a, a lab coat and some lab goggles, and I'm also complaining because none of us are, you know, following lab safety protocols. We have our hair down. We have open-toed shoes, you know. None of us did, like, a disinfecting thing before we came in. God, we're going to just ruin so many experiments. Anyways, so I wrap the um, lab coat around the pipette, and I try to suction just a drop. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's hot, but you're definitely able to get some uh in this thing and you notice it um as you put it in there the pipette starts to get much hotter and you see it kind of smoking out of the you know open end of it but there is some liquid in there meadow is this is this a sea monkey thing no 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 it is that is far too um too hot for sea monkeys unless they're a special kind of breed from the you know those like vent places. I don't really know. Are we? Are you pulling from the 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 one that's heating up or the collection jar? The collection jar. From. Okay, that's mm -hmm. also very hot. Okay. Oh, yes, okay. also there, very hot. There's there has to be ice in here, yeah. And uh, Mana goes over to one of the other like refrigerators to see if maybe there's an ice tray or something. Yep, there's there's some ice you can find. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, she she takes a, a thing of ice in an empty container, like one of those little glass containers, and puts a ice in it and takes that over to Winter and then just like sits there staring at her. Winter's just holding this, just being like, you know, I didn't really think this through. You know, I I, I wasn't really, I didn't really have a plan, but um, uh, I'm gonna drop a drop of the pipette onto the, uh, you know, steel countertops at the lab, or are they black countertops? They're, they're whatever you want. Okay, <laughs> they're steel, because this place <laughs> seems because to- Because I love this idea, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, low funds on bathrooms, high funds on science. So That's I right. do- For sure, sure. Yeah, a drop on the steel. 
Okay. Um, you do a drop on this on on the steel. It falls on the steel. Um, it doesn't like burn through it or anything, but it's definitely on there. Um, it's smoking, um, but then it starts to um, very quickly uh, solidify, like very quickly, actually. Um, and because you dropped a little bit, um, it solidifies, and I'd say after about 10 seconds or so, looks like a little tiny turnip. That is not the way vegetables work. No, no, it's not. Edo, please, please tell me this is a sea monkey turnip thing, and that a drop just became a, a turnip. I, I, is this a sea monkey thing? Just tell me it's a sea monkey thing. Whoa. I can't tell you it's a sea monkey thing. I can't, I can't tell you that. However, how much liquid is in that pipette still? I, I, I don't know, but I just did turn up alchemy. So I'm just, I'm going to need a moment just to. Uh-oh. Can you make a bigger turnip? If I spill this, will it make a giant turnip? So four is going, going way to find out. Four is going to uh, get himself a doctor's coat. Um, <laughs> I love the this. Doctor's coat. And then he's going to take out a pencil, and he's going to put a pencil in the solution. <laughs> okay. So, are you dropping it in the bubbling part, or like the in the bubbling part? part. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, oh my god. That sigh okay. is what I live for as a TTRPG player. <laughs> okay, uh, I will, let's see. Uh, does anyone try to stop for uh, from doing this? I, that, that's the first question. I, well, I I, oh man, Kaylee wants to know what happens, but Meta would super <laughs> stop it from, from uh, uh, okay. putting an X, like <laughs> introducing some kind of foreign element into this solution, so... Oh, do you man, want I to res- that. I would like to try and stop it. Do you, do you want to resist that for? Or yeah, for you... it's gonna resist that because it's not it's not I mean, fair that you all get to do science stuff and then when it's my turn to do a science <laughs> thing, nobody wants to let me do a science thing, and I think my science <laughs> thing is gonna be pretty dope. Okay, no, I don't do a science, science thing. thing. This is not I, a science I, thing. Yeah, this I create is... a turnip from water. I, that's not a science thing. That is yeah. unbelievably not a science well, thing. Well, that was a dope. That was a pretty cool science thing. And now I'm going to do a pretty cool science thing. This is what Twin Souls does. Right. So, it's just like... A foreign object to do with a, a mysterious solution. <laughs> this could even be a magic potion. We don't even know. <laughs> what am I yeah. really? Oh, so, so, so I would so like... Uh, so, uh, Noir, I'd like you to roll a, uh, a flight. Because you're trying to do this pretty fast. Oh, um, God, and, I'm good at and, that. Uh, and like a, and like a, Ka- oh, no. Kaylee, I, I'd like you to uh, roll a brawn because you're trying to physically oh, stop him from doing this. No, I rolled a two. You rolled a <laughs> Okay. You know what? Tell I, me how, tell me I, how you stop him. Uh, I, Ka- I, well, hold, well, 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 him. hold on a second. Wait, do you have I, any adversity? Problems? I have exactly three. <laughs> 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 You're gonna use all three of your tokens here? Oh, yes, J- yes. Just I am. for your idea? Yes. Uh, Kaylee, are you gonna use any adversity? I mean, you only need one to stop them. Are you so going to? So I technically to... have one left, but Up I'm not you. gonna use it. I'm not gonna okay. use it. I wanna know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, so like you, well, tell me how, how you try to stop him, and then more. Tell, tell me how you okay. evade this. Um, so I'm going to try and like, I don't, I don't have anything. So I'm, I was, I'm going to try and like knock the pencil away when that doesn't work because he's strong. I'm going to try and cover the top of it, but it's too, the, like it's expelling steam is too hot. And so it's just, ow. And mm. I imagine in that space of me trying to cover it and realizing I can't, it's too hot. <laughs> find your opening. Yep. Mm. Just bloop. Okay. Um, so yeah, it does make a ploop. Um, uh, this thing is pretty hot, so it very quickly melts um, in this uh, solution very quickly. And, you know, it seems kind of weird that a pencil would melt that quickly. Um, and then you start to um, feel not just a, um, not just a bubbling, but like a rumbling coming from this thing on the table. And the table starts to shake a little bit. Um, 
and liquid starts to spill. It starts to bubble oh, out of the oh, flask. Oh, 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 four, four. Why did what? Okay, everybody back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah. So d- my, does everyone, uh, d- does everyone back up? Is awesome. <laughs> In my surprise at everything that happened, I accidentally squirted out the rest of the solution ah! of the <laughs> on the floor. Yes. Yes to all okay. of this. Okay. I love this. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. 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 Yeah. So, uh, so, so the, wait, do you drop the whole thing, the whole, like, 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 like that pet or you squeeze the. I just squeezed it. Cause I was like, I don't know okay. what's happening. And it just. Okay. Falls. Great. Um, it falls to the floor. Um, so like uh, that's on the floor starts to solidify. Um, turns into a turnip, a larger turnip though, cause there was more in there. Um, the experiment on the, on the uh, on the uh, table, it is bubbling. It is uh, it is sh- it is sh- 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 shaking, and then all of a sudden, um, basically, all the liquid has come out of the flask, and it's all over the floor, and then that begins to solidify into the biggest turnip you've ever seen, with an eraser on top of it. And a and a uh, and like a point of a pencil on the bottom of it. So it essentially looks like a large turnip with a large pencil uh, through the middle of it. And, and I'd say very large, like probably like Mana's size. What? Whoa! Yeah, very large. Look at what I made. I invented. A thing, I'll That's call not... it a turn up, a pin, a, a turn, a turnsel, a turnsel. <laughs> um, so we have That's just interrupted what... someone's experiment. We have broken every single part of the scientist's code. We have completely ruined someone's experiment. Okay, yeah, we also made three turnips, and one of them has a pencil in it. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. Okay. Um I'm can I move closer to the giant pernip? Yep. Is it hot? Uh it's hot, but it's not like too hot to touch. Like like it's warm. It's a pencil. Oh, it's a per- pernip. It's a, it's a, it's a okay. turnsel. Turn yeah, it's a turnsel. turnsel. <laughs> I think okay. turnsel sounds a little bit better, but turnsel, okay. Mm-hmm. Um I want to cut into it and see if it's pencils all the way down. Mana goes, for the, into it. Mana goes mm-hmm. for the scalpels and hands one over and it's just like, yeah, scalpel. Okay. Are, are you cutting into it? Yeah. I'd like to just like from the top, see if I okay. can just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, as you, you know, you start to slice through it a bit. Um, it doesn't, it feels like what you would expect to feel from a vegetable that's just very large. Um, but you do notice that the, the, the scalpel kind of goes, there's like some resistance and then it kind of goes through, um, and falls inside and you hear it kind of like hit the bottom. Hello? Yes. This turnip is hollow. Wow, this turnip is a liar. But it's like Inside. it's like you could make a jack o' lantern. It's like it's just you could just make a jack o' lantern. It's it's just a whole. It was a whole beaker of liquid turnip jack o' lanterns. I mm-hmm. is the so it, can I like cut open even more and yeah. see if I can like look in to see if there's anything in there other mm-hmm. than it being hollow? Yeah, you can cut open as much as you want. Cut open more and look into it. Yeah, it just looks like, I mean, you see this massive pencil going through the middle, but aside from that, it just is completely hollow. Like, it looks like the exterior is a turnip, the inside completely hollow, except for this massive pencil that is in it. (gasps) Hey, they're cheaters. Um, That's what they are. They, well... 
or or they're making it to to for a purpose you know this could this could be something that's meant to hold things or a new kind or maybe it was the pencil that made it hollow you made a giant it made the pencil giant also wow do you think if we put one of the sea monkeys in there it would make a sea monkey turn up no but also yes well all the liquid is gone it is exited out the flask like like <laughs> a both the flask and the collection plate all went on the ground and it made this big turn up so uh so it's not like the experiment is still going that you could dip this in here and i'm not comfortable experimenting on animals just yet in a way that might harm them like it's one thing to introduce them into an environment that i know is going to be good for them but you know if i if i have to grow a sea monkey and then it's a sea giant sea monkey and then what do i do you know you have to take responsibility for that and you have to think about consequences mm. i'd like everyone to roll a charm for me see if you notice see if you notice something oh Okay. All right. So I say everyone except Winter uh, notices that uh, the closer Meadow is to this turnip, the more her bag that has the stuff that she took from Miss Jenkins' classroom starts to um, glow. And it's not like a huge glow. So it's not like a huge glow, but it's just subtle enough that you notice a bit of a change in her bag. That's really cool. How are you doing that? Okay, so everybody else sees this too. I no. mean, are you what being are you touched by one of your angels right now? Uh, no, but I am this touching is this weird. turnip. Oh, oh, I think I'm having an idea. Um, Okay, uh, your last idea, I'm not going to lie, was a little bit <laughs> stressful. It was pretty awesome, though. And he just looks at the turtle. What if that turnip juice came from the tentacle realm and things are different in the tentacle realm? So, like... I lost it. Wait, <laughs> really? Oh. So like they they recognize each other, so their energies are like resonating, and that makes it glow. Yeah, it's like when you're like when you you when you meet somebody, like like you know you you like the same stuff. You're like, what's up? Like mm -hmm. that stuff is probably good. It's going, what's up? Because they're like. You know, like, like a click. They're like buddies. Okay. Well, I can, I'm going to pull out my backpack and I'm going to um, go into it and pull out some of the chalk that I got from Miss Jenkins' office. Mm -hmm. uh, as you, well, first of all, when you open it, everything is brighter than you remember it is. Ooh, okay. So everything that you put in there is, uh, is, uh, is a brighter. So you pull out this piece of chalk. Um, it doesn't feel any different, um, but it is glowing. And if I move it closer to the turnip, does it glow brighter? Or does it change? It does. Color? It does glow brighter the closer you move it to the turnip. What does this mean? What could everybody this mean? stand back? I am going to continue this experiment. I'm gonna touch. Are you the putting it in? I'm gonna touch it to the outside first. Okay. Um, when you touch the chalk to the outside of the turnip, um, it just boops it. You just boop it a little bit. Boop. Um, they're just two shiny things next to each other. Oh, okay. oh, I'm oh. Gonna, I have... What? What if, like, it doesn't happen here? And like he takes one of the like tiny turnips that were made and he puts it in his pocket. What if we have to take the weird stuff to the tentacle world? 
Okay, I will say that we were explicitly told not to be in the bio lab in the tentacle dimension. We should go to the bio lab in the tentacle dimension then. You right. should go to yeah, the bio how? lab in the tentacle dimension, yeah. Can everyone just stop saying tentacle for 30 seconds? Oh my God. <laughs> also, tentacle verse or something like that is right there if we're gonna have to make it something. Oh my God. Tentacle verse, um, okay. Tentacle um, world. Yeah, I kind of like with like Mario World, where yeah. there's different like, worlds, but yeah. it's like tentacle world. Tentacle, just okay. a world of tentacles. That is hilarious. So, 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 like, like the ice world, the desert world, yeah. the tentacle, the tentacle world. world. Yeah. Um, world. Okay, I, hmm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the piece of chalk inside the hollow turnip. Okay. Yep. It drops in. Um, you don't really notice anything different or anything. It just falls right in there, the same way that the scalpel did. Hey, Win. Uh, no, not Winter. Here she is. Hey, Mana. Yes. You want to get in a turnip? Yes. I have no problem with this. If there was anything wrong that would happen, my guides would tell me otherwise. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no way this could go poorly. Okay. Hey, you'll be fine. I like cut open a bigger opening for her. Yeah, I'll say it, 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 it is um, uh, uh, um, um, <laughs> okay, so you are able to cut an opening in it, um, one that is big enough, I would say, for Mana to fit in, um, you know, if, if uh, you know, if, if she wants. Um, so Mana, are you entering this turnip? Yeah, uh, Mana puts on a second lab coat. That's <laughs> fair. Yeah, um, and then like kind of hikes that one up a little bit to go over her hair. Uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, she looks over um, at them and does like a very solemn nod. Uh, while she's wearing the the goggles, uh, she's found some lab gloves and she's put those on. So mm -hmm. and uh, now she's gonna get in this. She's gonna get in this turnip. Okay, you're just like fully clothed, fully prepared, armored up, <laughs> armored up <laughs> to see what happens. Let my Earth Mother know what happened here if anything happens. Okay, just get in the turnip. <laughs> Yeah, um, Mana's got grit. That's her number one thing. She's getting it. I love it. it. Oh my god. I love it. Um, I would go, I'm just too big. Uh, you enter this turnip. Um, uh, Meadow, do you... Because um, there's an opening now. Do you close the opening? Or do you kind of leave it so you can... Well, I'll wait first to see in. how she do. And then if... Um, mm -hmm. If she seems to be fine, I'll have I'll have the little like like the top of the jack o' lantern part that I now have. Okay, are you okay if I like shut you in? And, and Mana gives a double thumbs up. Okay. I just said I didn't experiment on animals, and I'm experimenting on Mana, but she's consenting, so it's fine. Okay. All right. You, you close her in there. Um, and as soon as you close her in there, um, the, well, first mod, I'm going to need you to roll a grit while you're in here. Mm -hmm. Um, the top and the part that you op opened up, uh, suddenly repair themselves. So this turnip is now one solid, one solid thing. Ooh, oh my, my goodness. God. I super exploded <laughs> on this. I got a 37 on wow. my grit. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, yeah, so you are cool as a cucumber um, in here. She, I think um, she connects with her gods while she's in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, as this does, you hear uh, the door to the lab begin to open. <laughs> and it is Charlie, the security guard. What are y'all doing in here? How do you even get the coal for here? Well, you, uh, <clears throat> you see what happened was, right? We all had experiments 
uh, to do, and we got permission to come in here and do our experiments. Y'all made the biggest mess. Oh, my God. And wh where did this big turnip come from? This is part of my experiment. I'm very, very sorry. Um, Principal Felix gave us the codes that I could check on my experiment, and I was working on it, and um, they're helping me because I needed help because it's so big. Um, but, you know, it's just the science fair is coming up, and we, we had to – I had to work on it. I haven't been able to check on it all day. Yeah, nope. and, and also um, all of our tax money goes to pay for public schooling and public schooling is a public good. So technically we own this school as well as do you. And I think that we should together in solidarity think about um, maybe not doing corporal or punitive punishment. Just thoughts. Uh, and also from, we'll clean up, I promise. And also from, like science is messy, bro. Like that's the process. From inside the turnip, you hear a voice go, I hear you, Akris. God of fertility, God of the turnip, protector of beans, peas, cabbage, flax, and hemp. I feel your call. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, he looks around because he does not know where this voice is coming from. Um, and I want everybody to roll a charm. Oh, oh God. Let's see if you can convince Charlie that uh, this is legit. <laughs> Come on, four. <laughs> hey. Whoa. Okay. Uh, so not all of you, um, but yeah. uh, uh, Mana from inside the turnip uh, and four, um, he kind of hears your arguments and he says, well, why didn't they tell me this? Felix is always doing this. He's always doing this. He's scheduling things. I know the science fair is important, but he should have told me I'm responsible for this whole place. If you're here after five, I lock it up after five. I should at least know. Hey, hey. Oh, Ryan, I'm so sorry that you were not informed that we were um, going to be doing some extracurricular activities in the biology lab today. Um, I'm very sorry. I will mention it to the principal. Wait, so your experiment is just to just to grow big turnips? Yeah, well, you know, the, the larger um, that you can make um, a root vegetable like this, the more people you can feed. This could possibly solve world hunger. You never know. And it talks. He <laughs> <laughs> I bestow upon you fertility of your vegetables. I shall eat more vegetables from this day forward. Oh, Acris, my God speaks to me. So now he looks over at the turnip and says, "Wait, is that is, uh, is that a, pre a praying turnip? Yes, it is." Uh, and he goes over to the turnip and like says, "Did y'all turn her in, into a turnip?" No, no, we're just, yeah, yeah, no. Whoa, that'd be so crazy. We're we're just catching up to the Europeans who are so far ahead in turnip technology. So this is just just our, our trial. And uh, again, you are our ally in science. So um, I think it's very important to let this experiment be in peace. It's a tape. It's a tape recording. It's just a tape recorder that has Mona's voice on it. It's not actually a talking turnip. That would be ridiculous. So Ooh. ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna need you to roll another charm on that, man. <laughs> I have to believe that it's a tape recorder inside of this. Uh, okay. Uh <laughs> Okay, uh he does not Oh, actually, uh uh four. Well what would you say to Are 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 you jumping in on this tape recorder yeah, thing as yeah. well? Or you... In a moment of surprising cognizance, <laughs> four goes. <clears throat> Dude, everybody knows about the study that says that positive reinforcement encourages growth with vegetables, dude. That's just basic science. So if you put a tape recorder in a turnip that's saying nothing but good things and prayers to the turnip fertility goddess to encourage growth, then like, what do you think is going to happen if it hears that 24-7? Dude, you're going to get massive gains on your turnip. That was my Party. experiment, obviously. <laughs> wow. Charlie looks up. That was like really good. Wow. Yeah, Charlie looks up at the sky, at the ceiling, and says, 
Oh, I need a raise. Uh, <laughs> you definitely do. I yeah, really yeah. I agree um, with you. Yeah. And he turns around and he leaves. Y'all have that was really good, y'all. Y'all uh, successfully uh, did not lead him on to anything illicit that was going on. So, um, and after that's so over, he, Ford just goes, "Oh, <laughs> like <has> brace fast." <laughs> nice. uh, yeah. So he leaves the room. Um, but you do hear him kind of walking around outside, like looking in the classroom, you know, your doors opening, you know, he's kind of checking around stuff. Um, what do y'all do now? Mana, can you hear us? Praise him. Shh. Praise the God of the turnip. Yelling in the turnip, it echoes really loud. Acris, hear our cry. <laughs> we, we beseech you, your turnip wisdom. What do you see in there? Just a turnip? Is it dark? Are you in the I tentacle s- dimension? I see my new god. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. We ask uh, for your blessings and your guidance. What is our next turnip move, my god? <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, is the turnip god talking to you in a voice you can hear yet? Or are you just talking to it? I am Claire Audient. I don't hear voices in the way that you think that I do, but I know that my god is speaking to me now. Okay, so the turnip isn't talking to her. That's actually a good sign. Um, Can can I attempt to pick up the turnip with Mana in it? If you roll a brawn, sure. Alright. Here we go. Don't fail me now. Like, no, that's braids. That would have been gone poorly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You, you are able to pick up the turnip. It's pretty heavy, though. Okay. And it feels like you're picking up a child. <laughs> and like got two lab coats and some goggles on. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, exactly. So, um, My yeah, God it's is a pretty heavy. Me up high. <laughs> 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 Okay. I, I, mm. So, what do you want to do now that you have this turnip in your in your arms? You guys want to go to the tentacle dimension? I do kind of want to go to the tentacle dimension. I'm a little bit worried about Mana's safety, but also she's yelling about turnips, so it couldn't get worse. Well, I got yeah. her. I got her with me, so we could go. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm down to to take the turnip with us to a dimension that we have not fully named. Let's go. Oh, it's totally the tentacle world. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, world. the god of turnips approves. Let us go to the tentacle dimension. <laughs> Party! Oh, <man. laughs> okay. I, w- I do want to grab the other turnip that uh, Ford didn't put in his pocket because there mm-hmm. was like a small turnip, a bigger yeah. turnip. So yep. whatever he didn't grab, I want to grab. Okay, yeah. yeah. And like I'll say that like, that can fit in your bag or pocket or something so you can have that with you. I'm going um, to, before we go, um, in my backpack, just pull some more pipettes, um, a thermometer, a scale, like a little scale if I can find I'm like starting to just kind of like measuring tools as many different um mm-hmm. graphing calculator uh Ooh. you know whatever Ooh. I can find in there um and maybe some like sample jars and just like okay <laughs> how big is Meadow's bag <laughs> like is she carrying like a like a hiker's uh yeah. you know I carry one of those expandable like those like the ones with the frame to school Ooh, I, love it. I love that. I love that. Sweet. You know where I came from? I have a normal uh, backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're 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 able to find all this stuff. You can fit it all in there. Um uh I would uh, like to grab a couple things too, actually, before we leave. Is that okay, okay? Or can I only grab the turnip? Uh tell me what else you want to grab. Like if it's something small, yes. Okay, I want to grab a scalpel and the largest pair of scissors I can find. Yeah, you find a scalpel. You find just a regular pair of scissors. Like, they're not humongous or anything. Just regular looking scissors. Why don't we have bigger scissors in this school? God. What are, like, what is a big scissor? Like, I'm trying to imagine, like, is, um, are there bigger scissors? Like shears? Oh, yeah. Like yeah, shears? Yeah, like medical maybe? grade scissors, shears, like any kind of, like, large. Oh, like gauze scissors, like bandage scissors. Yeah, those are. Oh, yeah, because 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 I guess I was thinking of, like, Clipping a hedge or something like the the those things. I mean, if those are available. Yeah. Yeah. Do we I was, have, I was, are there clipper giant 
No, so they're like, they're not those. But yeah, I'll, I'll say that they're they're they are the one for gauze. Yes, yes, they're they're there are those slightly larger scissors. So you can grab those if you want. They need okay. bigger scissors in the school. I'm gonna make an official report as soon as we're done here. Okay. I mean, if we had if we had more of that liquid, we could throw them into it a turnip, and then maybe we would have a scissor turnip. I'm not gonna have scissor tur scissors. Okay. okay. I guess um, I guess we very carefully then. You good for with mana turnip? This is light work. I could do this all day. <laughs> Okay, then we should um, wait for Charlie to go off in the opposite direction and then go into Miss Jenkins' class, I guess. Okay. Yeah, because you you definitely <laughs> you definitely hear him outside, for sure. He is definitely outside. Um, so uh, this is actually a good place, I think, to end. Um, not to end to uh, take a break. Um, <laughs> uh, because yeah, you are plotting your way to get out um, of this place. So. Uh, let's take a little break, everybody. Uh, you know, v- visit your bio labs in your houses, um, <laughs> or uh, get get some water, coffee, whatever, and we'll be back um, in about five minutes, five to ten minutes. We back. We are back. Uh, we are in the lab. Um, or I should say they are in the lab. <laughs> uh, the the omniscient narrator is floating above, uh, observing uh, Med- Meadow, Winter, Four, and Mana in the lab, uh, planning on how to get out of the lab. Uh, Meadow has just stuffed a bunch of things in her glowing bag. Um, right, Mana cool. is it's still going. Mana's in that turnip. Uh, Winter has also grabbed uh, some things, including some large scissors. Um, and Four is holding uh, Mana and said turnip. They've heard Charlie outside the lab, and they are looking to get to Miss Jenkins' room um, to try to access uh, this other world, uh, which I will not call the name everybody else is saying. Just another world, you know, another world. Um, Tentacle world? Could be anything, uh, really. Could be uh, anything. You know. World of tentacles. <laughs> now, now it sounds like it's like a like a theme park. Like it's like a, <laughs> six flags. World or, of tentacles. Or the world, world of tentacles. Warcraft expansion nobody wanted. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Expansion. expansion. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, what do y'all want to do? That, that's the situation we got right now. What do y'all want to do? I I would like to wait for Charlie to be out of sight and then open the door and help for mm-hmm. with mana turnip i mean you can try to wait uh so you can just hear him outside um but i was i'd say you try to wait a maybe a couple of minutes and it doesn't sound like he's going anywhere okay he's waiting for i us. mean you could try to wait longer but it, 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 it is definitely you just hear him kind of meandering about for do you think do, oh man we are just on such thin ice with Charlie you guys I don't know if we should tr- carry the turnip out and then go into a classroom <clears throat> do you think he'd follow us uh, you know what I got this <laughs> just somebody open the door please what if we like hid the turnip? Like we just put a, a lab coat and some glasses on it and just Do you think it's get it's the size of It's the size of mana. This is but it's larger than mana. So I don't think it could get any worse, but I don't know. What are your thoughts? Meadow? <laughs> what are your thoughts? I think, you know, yeah, uh, we have to think about the consequences of our actions. We're thinking it all the way through. Very. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, right. of course. We have um, to think about it. Into, into Earth Mother Bounty. I think, I think I'm going to open the door. I think, okay. I think we got to skate by on Four's charisma. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's time to go. Okay. I think the 
like those. Th- th- Thanks, bro, party. Yeah, I don't think a um a lab coat and goggles will on the turnip will make it more convincing. It very possibly might make it less convincing. All right, all right, that's fine. Just want to integrate the turnip into you know this thing. All right. All right. We can integrate it when we get it into Miss Jenkins' classroom. You want to grab an extra lab coat and goggles? Yeah, just in case. Yeah, yeah I'll just, just take case. some time. As well. yeah, yeah, four, you're, you're, you got this, right? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, right? Yeah, crazy. He's got, uh, that, he's got that forehead vein going <laughs> right now. Yeah. We want the, the big lab coat, the medium lab coat, the small the lab, big coat. lab coat. The lab coat. The big lab coat? I'm going to grab the big lab coat. Please yeah. grab the lab coat and open the door. <laughs> All right, yeah. That really uh, sound a door makes. I know that was, that almost sounded like a like a Star Trek uh, <laughs> door. <laughs> I was like, how advanced? But is it's the just metal. It's just metal making that noise. It's not the door. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. I love that. <laughs> uh, sweet. And let me. Can you? Yes. Yeah, so this is uh. Here's our buddy here. Uh, you should be able to see him on the map. Uh, yeah. So that's where he is. Uh, Miss Jenkins' uh, class is uh, basically as soon as you walk in, because if you remember that that was the first class that um, that yeah, like uh, four that. ducked into. Uh, so you basically have to get. Oh yeah, we're gonna do some live live map editing here. I wouldn't say ducked um, into. He gracefully so like, entered. Ducked into. Uh, into. Abandoning uh, his uh, buddies. Because uh, he did not know ahead. about the <laughs> scouting ahead. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, so you have to so you gotta get to Miss Jenkins' room down there on the lower left. Um, so, I mean, you can just try to go there and talk to Charlie. You can try to go around the other side, right? Because it's like a big... Um, yeah, it's just a little, you could go the long way, right, fool? Yeah, let's go the long way. Yeah, go we got way. this. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, this is all day. I can do this. Harry, the <laughs> disciple of Acris, use those muscles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, uh, so you're walking around the long way. Um, um, I really got to get tokens for us. I, 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 I got to do that. I haven't done that yet. Um, but um, the farther you get away from the science lab, one, Meadow's bag stops glowing. Um, and two, Mana. Um, can you roll me a grit? And try not to get like 100. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh, I feel no. so bad. I, I, I feel oh, like I caused that. I feel so no. bad. Um, uh, she rolled a natural one. Yes, oh, yes. So, uh, so uh, she, she wrote a one. Technically, in Kids on Bikes, there's no, like, you know, crit fails or anything. But, you know, uh, I kind of like the idea of crit fails. So, it be uh, like that. Uh, Mana, you are inside of this uh, turnip, and it's weird, because when you were first in there, it's not completely dark, but you can see like in front of you, it's just like, you know, kind of like a wall that's like around you. Right. And you kind of blink for a little bit. And that wall is like a lot closer, like a lot closer. Um, so like a uh, first, it was like maybe out here and you blink a little bit and it's like here. So you feel like this thing is uh, closing around you. Uh, y- y'all. Y'all, um, I, I, I think, I think my God is about to call me back home. Um, oh, like cool. No, like back, <laughs> back to, 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 to the realm. I think I'm about to be unmade. Back oh. to the realm of making. I. Do I it's feel this? Pretty ha- oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's, it's getting. Um, it was cozy before, but now it's it's getting real tight in here, y'all. Wait, like it's getting smaller? It's getting smaller, but I am still the same size. Oh. Yeah. And like, y'all don't notice that the turnip is changing size. Like a uh, four is carrying it. It feels, looks the same. Um, on the outside, nothing looks different. It's not, it doesn't feel heavier either? Nope. Oh. It's not. 
Um, so do I... we do we run to the classroom and try and flip it, or do we try and break her out of the turnip before she's squished? I no longer wish to be in this turnip if it is going to get smaller. I think we Ooh. probably want to break her out of the turnip. I think we should probably break her out of the turnip before we she should. gets squished. You should probably, yeah. okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to just put it down. <laughs> he puts the turnip down. All right, you put the turnip down. Uh, Mana, um, this thing has gotten even closer, um, and you can now see the room. You can see outside. You can see the hallway. You can see everything. Through the turnip? Yes, and everyone else, the turnip's the same size, but you see these two little holes on the front. And you see this little um, kind of triangular thing below the holes, and you see what looks like a like a slit below the triangle thing. Oh my god, we did make a jack-o'-lantern. It's a turnip lantern, first of all. I can see all of you. As Mana says, I can see all you, you see the little slit start to go up and down. The turnip's talking. Mana, the turnip talks when you talk. Is is this Mana or Akris, the god of turnip and hemp? Like, I just need a clarification real quick. It is both. <laughs> nah. <Yep. It's> like, <laughs> four sets to, I caught him three. That's how scared he is. Four sets to walk, <laughs> like, back up a little. Yeah. Um, you start to see um, out of this turnip, out of the sides and out of the sides, you see these two little sticks pop out of the side and out of the bottom, you, you see these little, almost like stalks, like these little stalks um, appear on the bottom of the turnip as well. Um, Why are all of you looking at me so weirdly? Mana, Mana, are you turning into a turnip? I am still you- myself. Are you also a turnip? I want to get out of here now. I don't know if cutting you open is an option anymore. I think you might be the turnip now. Yeah. Um, Instead of, could you just like turn down the root vegetable of this right now? Is there any way you can just, just, just not be this, this thing? Yeah. I am very close to freaking out, and I'm letting all of you know this right now. Get me out of this turnip. Okay, 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 okay. I guess, I guess while that's been cool. happening, it's just keeps keep you cool. And maybe yes. thoughts start like moving around. <laughs> if if you are trying to move your arms, as you look around, you see these little stalks moving, and everyone else can see this as well. How oh. long are the stocks? Wait, wait. Is 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 she like on the floor, like like a like a belly up kind of thing, and just like flailing, or can she like? Uh, no. So if four put it down, the little stalks appeared under it. So she is. These little things oh, are. Oh no. No, no! 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 Wait, can no, can she no, support no. herself on her little? Turtle she is turtle? supporting herself on these. No, no. Little stalks. Wait. Okay, Mana. Okay, I need you not to panic, but can you take a step for me? What? Why? Why would? What? Just what's step, going? Just what's step going forward. On? Just uh, Ma- step Mana, forward. Mana. Uh, steps forward. Turn up these. Like the little stalk goes forward. You oh, step forward. Okay. You oh wow! Step okay, forward. This is fine. This is totally I fine. I want out of this turn up now. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I'm gonna. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna like. Can I? Can I poke the outside. Mana, can you feel this? I poke the outside of the turnip. Can you feel this? Uh, Ma- Mana, you feel like someone's poking. Well, are, are you? Yeah, y- you feel like somebody's touching your skin. Like someone's poking Stop your skin. Stop touching me. Your skin. Okay, so here's what we're not going to do is we're not going to cut you out of the turnip right now. That sounds like something we no longer is possible for us. So I'm going to put away the scalpel, right? Yes, put away the scalpel. Okay, we're cool. We're going to put away the scalpel because. Can, um, I, can I put it in your bag? Because I don't. Oh, want my bag. yeah, sure. Thanks. All right, uh, uh, I, I have I have an idea. Um, like everything got weird as soon as we left the bio lab. So like, can you think your little weird little like turn up legs and just walk back into the bio lab? It's not weird. We don't. We we're. It's not weird. Okay, we Mana. Either, 
Yeah, like a lot of people could turn into turnip. It could have been any one of us. Okay. And turn yeah, into a turnip. Well, no, I, don't, I, I this just, is not. This is not the deal that I signed on for with Acris, the god of turnips. Just uh, consider it out and start uh, running. <laughs> No, wait, which no, direction? Which she, direction? She got, a, she got a one on her grit, so <laughs> yeah, no, wait, which direction? Which direction? Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, are you are, are you running back toward the science lab or are you running toward Miss Jenkins? I would class? I would love for her to run back towards the science lab if I have a choice in it. You do. Y'all see okay. this turnip bolt. Okay, okay. You well, see oh, the little uh, stock legs start moving. Like, you see ah. the arms waving, and she is Walking while well, while well, she is running uh, down the hallway um, like back that. to yeah exactly it's it's like a bit of a waddle uh, but uh, it's going back toward the science lab. That seems like follow. The, yeah, that seems like the thing to do because I don't know if she's gonna be able to put the code in as a turnip. We should, oh God, oh God. Um, but it, but it's we don't want you to feel self conscious about how you are because however you run and however you walk is is great and we accept you as your turn up self. Now freak and that! Anna, because we're turn up. Is she gonna bite us and turn us into turtles too? <laughs> no, she's gone. She's going to. We have to follow her. Ah. <laughs> oh um, my god. Okay. Uh, mm, 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 okay. Y'all are making quite a bit of noise. Uh, you start to hear the jingle of Charlie's keys. Um, and you hear footsteps. Uh, not quite in sight yet, um, but you can hear it getting closer. And like he's like, Are y'all okay? No! Yes! We're great. We're great. We're great. <laughs> We're fine. We're just um, a part of the experiment is going slightly in a way that is unexpected, but not in a messy way. Everything is yes. fine. Well, you haven't. Well, experiment. You're outside. You sound like you're outside the lab. You haven't taken anything out, have you? Of course Some experiments. not. Why are we not supposed to? What do you know? I mean, that's school property. What do you mean? What do I know? It's school property. Leave it in the lab. I've I'll go ahead and get it. Don't don't worry. I'll, I'll just come to you. I'll get whatever you have. No, 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 no. No, we're good. No, we're good. no we're good. everything we're is fine. fine. We're almost back to the lab. Hang on one second. It's fine. Ah. <laughs> 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 That's how I laugh. That's <laughs> so y'all here. You see this turn up running, and you hear ah <laughs> coming coming from it. Um, as you see. Uh, this running, running turn. Um, I'll say you get to the lab. Um, Charlie is not there or within eyesight. Um, y'all go in. Yes, yes. Oh God, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, great. I, I, I don't think Mana could have reached it, or she was like the turn of hand is like just slapping the keypad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, yeah. You, you can reach it, but you don't really have fingers. You just have like a stalk, like a little twig kind of little thing so uh you can't really hit the keys yourself but i'm assuming somebody hits the keys the... yeah i got i got it 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 just just, okay. just okay i just try and take a breath to turn to breathe i don't know just take a breath ah! they don't have a lung system unless they i do don't know but mana does she's talking do you feel like do you do you feel like biting this ah! <laughs> all right so uh, y'all are in the lab now um Mana, you begin to see, well, well, well like everyone begins to see uh, Mana slowly uh, turn back into herself. And like is the turnip inside gone? the turnip? The turnip is gone. Oh, so it's like, like, wait, like shape shifts from this turnip thing back to mana but she's not in a turn up thing anymore uh, depends what y'all uh, wanna what your characters want to think happened but th huh. the situation of what y'all saw is mana went inside of a turnip when you left she became the turnip and when you came back the turnip became mana that's what you saw huh. um take okay, from so that what you will mana um you can't ever leave this lab now ever and um i guess you live here now um or else you become a turnip and these are the rules in the perfectly normal school day 
um, the beginning of which we were almost tentacled by an unknown being, um, saw a superintendent who was partially clear because you threw salt at them, and now everything is totally fine! I, I've, I've learned that Acris, the god of turnips, is very literal, and I, um, <laughs> I do not believe that I want him as a patron at this time in my life, so I am putting that connection on hold, and if he doesn't respect that, I will cut that connection. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, do you mind if I, can I just, I just want to see if you. Amana holds her arm out. Mm -hmm. And she feels like. Yeah, it just feels like normal. It just feels like normal. Um, oh. you feeling okay? Amana like looks down, is like patting everything and takes off the, the safety goggles I'm and the, the, mm -hmm. the extra lab coat. So she's just wearing the one lab coat now. Am I, is my, is everything, everything feels normal? Yeah, you look okay. Is it? Yeah, yeah, you look 11, yeah. Four is- 11 and a half. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that half in there. Four is gonna get a flask of water. And like put his finger in it and just go, good bread, good meat, good God, let's eat and flick the water at Mana to see if the holy water uh, does anything. That's not uh, blessed. The uh, holy water, meaning you think that's holy water. Uh, it's the only prayer I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you say that too when you're throwing it's the only prayer I do. Um, <laughs> just sprinkled water on Mana. And uh, uh, Mana looks over at four. You know, twin souls. What? I I just yes. I, I think you're a weird turn up. I am. No. I, I am a human. Nothing against turnips, but I am a human. I am a human being. You yeah, yeah, just... yeah. I know you're a, a human being, but um, would you mind putting your hand outside of the door and back in just as an experiment for me? Just how human? I'm all the way human. And uh, Mana looks over at the uh, the lab door uh, and mm -hmm. starts striding towards it. Sure. You, you want to open it? Yep. All right. You open the door um, and you see Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Standing oh. outside of the door. <clears throat> and, and, and he's like, I know y'all here doing some kind of experiment, but keep mm -hmm. it down a little bit. Keep okay, it down. Sorry. Yes, of course. So sorry. Now y'all sounded like y'all were doing some kind of experiment outside. Hey, we're, he's he's like kind of like he's like looking around the room. Where's that big turnip? The god Acherus giveth and taketh away. Yes. We he looks at you. ate it. You ate it? I wait, I, I thought it was an experiment. This is um just an important step. In the experiment, we have to see how it is processed. Um, you by... ate that entire turnip. You. All, all of us. We are a team. We're teenagers. <laughs> We're very hungry for turnips. Look at four. He needs many calories. Huh? Huh? Uh. Yeah. Well, I'm, I mean, y'all look like y'all been through, uh, just, just, uh, been through, uh, H E double hockey sticks. Uh, <laughs> you try uh, eating as many turnips as we just did. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could see that. I mean, I, yeah, it does sound like quite a feat. Um, but uh, just just keep it down a bit. Um, you know, I'm just uh, here trying to help things out. Um, but I was a bit of a bit of a scientist back in my day. You know, like I kind of kind of left it alone for a little bit and just decided to take an easy life just watching over the school i mean as y'all know i've been here mm -hmm. um i'm an alumni here you might have uh you know and, and like he like kind of perks up a bit says i mean like you might have seen my name on some of those uh old trophy stands and that kind of stuff i don't try to make a big deal of it but uh you know um if you ever wanted to hear about some of the old stories about uh, uh some of our old uh experiments now we didn't have anything like this of course um because you know our our labs got uh, and then he 
stops himself and says, "Oh, um, sorry, I, I I got a little bit lost. Um, uh, have Not- a good day, y'all." No, dude, yeah. what are you going to say? What happened to your lab? You, I got me totally invested, and then you totally backed out. Yeah, surely you, I mean, I'm not going to repeat what, like, surely you know what happened at this school, right? No. All right, he goes, he pulls up a chair. Um, He sits down, he kind of leans back, and he says... Have your uh, your parents ever mentioned anything about uh, why this school was rebranded into a academy of science? No. No. I'm. I just moved here from from Orlando. I don't care. Also, I don't think my my mom isn't super up on you know town stuff because we're also not from town. I, well, I you was know born to... here, but I don't remember Earth Mother saying anything specific about that. My dad doesn't figured. talk to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I shouldn't laugh at that, right? Like, that's not a funny thing. It's an awful thing. Like, why did I laugh at that? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel Great like delivery. Awful Good delivery, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I feel like an awful person. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, so like, he, he uh, says, Mike says, well, you don't... Uh, have to be from town to hear about uh oh, boy y'all really don't know jeez i can't really be the one to tell you this um and like he like looks around and like he uh, says well um here's what i can tell you this building site um is allegedly connected to a uh, series of tunnels that extend all across Techburg and beyond Techburg. And this site was built originally as an access point to those tunnels. And we found a lot of things in those tunnels, a lot of things that we experimented with. A lot of new minerals, a lot of things that we didn't know even existed. As a matter of fact, people from uh, Chicago even would come up um, because these were things that you couldn't even get down in the city. You know? Um, and uh, so we were running our experiments um, and one of them um, just did not go too well. Uh, don't worry. I mean, like, no, nobody was harmed or anything like that, but... Um, The building was, uh, you know, took a lot of damage to it. Um, And uh, allegedly, uh, you know, that old chem tea plant that uh, that that, like kind of left town. Mm. No. Yeah, I mean, you might not know. I mean, y'all are kids, but like, you know, I mean, your parents might uh, know something about it, but um. That old Kempty plant was pretty involved in the school back then. Um, they would regularly have people coming in and out of our lab. Um, and, uh, you know, we kind of liked it. I mean, we got to meet with all these big wigs from this big company. Um, so some of us got internships there, you know. Um, of course, they were paid internships. We don't believe in unpaid internships here at no, Techburg. Of course not. Here in uh, Techburg. I mean, I mean, we don't believe in paying for exposure, right? So we definitely had some 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 uh, paid internships but um so 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 we had this really strong base um this really strong connection um and uh uh four you might have heard this as well because you know like the uh, Chadwick family was very involved as well um some things that, that we found they um used somehow in that old quarry that uh that um, y'all own um so like there was a nice synergy um, in between the business and the school and and the and and the families and I wasn't here for the experiment but something happened um the building was significantly damaged next thing I know Kempty is talking about m- moving out I haven't been to the quarry since the school was closed for several years so like uh, everybody that was in the school had to go over to that turnip school um and it 
when it reopened, it was the Academy of Science. So I was shocked when they uh, invested all this money into the, into this bio lab because I'm like, don't they know what happened? And also, um, we had pretty good access to those tunnels, and I don't know what happened, but I know the place that we used to go. I don't. It's definitely kind of closed off now. Wait, where is it? What place did you used to go? Uh, I've said too much. Just, I just want to make sure that y'all are safe. That's the only reason I said all that. I'm not trying to get you on all these conspiracy theories. I don't want you going mucking around, look, looking for where these tunnels are, because trust me, you don't want to head in there. So oh. what's the place we should avoid then in order to mm -hmm. yeah. be safe? Uh, how will we know that we're, not, we're in a place that we're not supposed to be if we don't know mm -hmm. where we're not supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Oh, science. don't worry. <laughs> um, don't worry about it. We, we made sure that all the access places that the kids go is nowhere, nowhere near this. I mean, like it's hard enough to get in into the, uh, you know, in, into the principles of look, uh, just, just stay on the path, right? Just make sure that we all, um, are going to our classes and all that stuff. And, you don't got to worry about any of that stuff. I just want to make sure that y'all are safe. Hey, if you tell me like what you're, what where not to go, I promise I'll be on my best behavior, and you won't have to tackle me anymore. You got tackle tackled? you? What? Are, what? Are, you tackled? I didn't tackle you. What are you talking about? What? Like I at, at the pencil sharpener? What? Wait, you went to the pencil sharpener? Huh? You went to pencil sharpener? No. Wait a minute. What 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 a pencil sharpener are y'all talking about? No, I'm no not, pencil sharpener. Nothing. Definitely not a pencil nothing. sharpener. We nothing. carry. Nothing. I don't. I've sharpener. never seen a pencil sharpener. You've never seen a pencil sharpener. Yeah, I don't even know what a pencil is. I, yeah, I, even, pencil is, I only own pins, honestly, or mechanical pencils. They're the wave of the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. It, this mechanical has been a great. Pencil? This has been a great conversation. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, we should all leave now. Yeah, we should go yeah. home. I'm real tired. Um, wait, but wait. One, one quick question not... before you go. Well, before you ask that question, four, I did not tackle you. What are you talking about? I feel, I feel like I was tackled. <laughs> he, he just means tackling in general. Like he feels Me? tackled by society. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, like metaphorically tackled. This is a metaphor. Yes. We are just um, flabbergasted by this story that we have never heard before. You have. Mentally I mean, and spiritually tackled us with spies. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I, I feel tackled by the truth. And speaking mm -hmm. of truth, when you say experiments, were you making liquor, yes or no? Ooh. So you have heard then. I'm from Orlando. Like, I thought you, you say you were from out of town, Winner. Orlando is out of town, yeah. <laughs> how, do you, how do you know about the liquor? I don't know. It just it, it's just something the that was was a thing. Every, every yeah. everybody's heard about the bootlegging. Yeah, we all we all know that. That's like yeah, that's like the only cool thing that's ever happened in this town, honestly. Even I know about that and I uh, well, grew up out of town also. Well, y'all are kids. I don't expect you to know anything about any liquor. Well, I don't drink it because um it's disgusting. Yeah, I don't it know how y'all do <laughs> I mean, like, it's not that bad once you get like, used to it. Get, like, you know, you just uh, pound them down. I mean, they're bad. Don't well, do it. <laughs> look, look, y yes. One of the things we found down there was some liquor, and it did have some strange properties. Um, it would uh, spontaneously heat itself. Uh, it would... It seemed like it was transmutable, like it could kind of change things and the other kind of weird, really, really strange stuff. Um, and, you know, we we did run some experiments um, and, uh, you know, um, that's all I can really say about that. Did it turn Wait. anybody into turnip people? Turnip people? What? <laughs> What, what 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 are you talking about, when man? When they said 
when they said that liquor was bad and like alcohol was bad, I didn't know that they meant like that in that way. I I believe that I need to leave. Uh, and Mana's like looking around the lab mm -hmm. and looking at the door. I'm gonna check on my other experiment one more time and then I agree it is time to go home. Uh, and I'm gonna open my fridge and check and see if the turnip shoots have gotten any bigger since I looked at them last. Um, they're, they're somewhat bigger. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a little bit bigger. Yes. Okay. I'm going to worry about that later. Uh, <clears throat> yep. It is an experiment in there. It is there. Uh, thank you so <laughs> much for your wisdom today, mm -hmm. sir. Um, just be safe. Um, and you don't have to repeat everything that we said here. Just, I just wanted to tell you how important it is that you be safe because back in the day, we were a little reckless. We were a little excited about all the stuff we found. And we thought that science, we just do it and we worry about the consequences later. And, you know, things happen. So I just want to make sure that you're safe, but please don't go spreading this around. around. <laughs> um, it, it, it'll bring up a lot of old memories and you know, um, we we don't need all that. This this is a new day, bro. Oh, if only, if only it was. And I promise you, I'm going to forget this as soon as I am able to. <laughs> so, bro, Thank you re you really don't Thank remember you anything about it. Mrs. J Jenkins' class today? Oh, did you forget something in Miss Jenkins' classroom? For let's go get it. Yep, <laughs> yep. Wait, Miss okay. Jenkins, I I haven't. I haven't seen her in a couple days. I mean, she's been working, but I haven't like gone in that classroom in a couple days. But, bro. <laughs> Party. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Did he kind of uh, walks up to four and looks you dead in the eyes and says, what did you see in Miss Jenkins' class? Because See I saw any, you outside, huh? I saw you outside of this bio lab earlier. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was, I was trying and to, I saw, I was trying to play Funky Town on the keypad. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that. that was um, <laughs> um, yeah, I saw you messing around with the keypad, and now you're saying that you saw me. In you sure it was Miss Jenkins' room? I mean, like oh, fabric of reality gone. Yep. Because I was in Miss Jenkins' room, but that was like a while ago. I don't go in that room anymore unless I really have to. Really? Because from the way Bye. you were looking, it looked like you wanted to be in there all the time. You get what I'm talking about, buddy? Yeah, I've heard he. Now is not the right time for this for. Sorry. Wait, what? Huh? What? What? What are you talking about? What? You know what? I'm really tired, dude. This experiment. Did you was see like... me in Miss Jenkins' room? I mean, if you weren't in Miss Jenkins' room, then clearly I couldn't have seen you in there, dude. I'm just okay. I'm All just right. Tired. Why don't you want to go there? Why do you want right. to go let there? All right. Let me be. Let yeah, me be there... as clear. Let me be as clear as possible. Did you see someone that looked like me in Miss Jenkins' room? I don't know, my teachers keep asking me this. Like, why don't staff keep asking me this? Ask somebody else. I don't handle pressure well, dude. Did like, you? no, I didn't. Okay, okay, thank God, thank God, because, uh -huh. oh, God, if, <sighs> okay. Is that something that we should be concerned about? Not anymore. What okay? do you mean, not we, anymore? We've taken care of it, as I said before. Everything is sealed off. None of those kind of experiments are happening anymore. Don't worry about it. Ford just said that he didn't see me. That's great because I was about to, I was about to have to, to try to some things out. Try, try what out, dude? Yeah, just for, you know, in the interest of scientific inquiry. Mm -hmm. Are you going to Vulcan mind wipe us? Did you clone <laughs> yourselves? If if you don't tell uh, me what you're talking about, I'm gonna use. 
my special power to freak you out like I did Coach D today. <laughs> well, we don't, we don't, we don't have to worry about it because you didn't see. Look, j- just forget I even said it. I, I, I assume something that I've been fearing for a long time, um, but. I, I, I just might have been a little paranoid about it, so I apologize. I, I'm, I'm sorry for even bringing it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. You brought this all yourself. It's kind of weird how the superintendent is authentically. Superintendent Mary? Yeah. Tent- tentically. Yeah. I don't know. I freaked out the coach today, so I thought it would work if I did it again. Just yelling tentacle at people? I mean, oh, we're, not even, we're not even sure if that's the right terminology. We haven't um, decided fully on it. It's just it's it tentacle world winter accepting. All right, all right. I'll Never. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Um, and he gets up, leaves, closes the door, and you hear like. Him pressing something on the keypad, and then he walks away. Did he just lock us? Did he just lock us in? No, did he just lock no. us in. No, no he didn't. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. <laughs> he is running the door to try to open it. He is our ally in school education. It is um, locked. Ah! Oh, it's locked. <laughs> I have to live in this lab now. <laughs> I can't be in this. In this lab for a second longer. Oh my god, we're stuck in the bio lab with a, a turnip werewolf. I'm not a turnip werewolf. <laughs> I am a human being. And I'll what? prove it by biting you. No! Ooh. Like, I'm go- oh, immediately ah. going to try and kick the door open. <laughs> you can try to kick the door open. I'm uh, going to you... give it my best. I'm Do you want to try it? I'll yeah. Like okay, fire yeah. doors. <laughs> This is a big, big, like solid door. Uh-huh. Um, I will not say you cannot try. I will say it will be highly unlikely that you will be able to succeed, but I'd love to see you try. All right. What um, am I rolling? So, yeah, kick, kick a fight against the door. Um, you will have to get a <laughs> terrible 30. <laughs> You'll have to get a 30 to be able to get this door down. Ki! Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a three. <laughs> you got a three. Uh, you kick this door and your leg is burning, man. Ah! Your, your leg is burning. Oh, buddy. Don't. Dude, no, don't let her bite me, bro. Don't let her bite me. Okay, no uh, biting, like, no violence. Uh, Mana, 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 <laughs> mana, no, no, no. I feel the turn up powers within me. Oh, Resist oh. the turn up god, okay? okay? Resist. Okay, mana, let's not bully. Four. <laughs> we talked about bullying, remember? We talked about it, we talked about bullying. No more bullying people. 11 and a half year old girl. <laughs> <laughs> good break, good me, good college, good break, good me, good college. That's true, like you do have more of the holy water. Yeah, you have more of the holy water. Can, okay. Hey, Mana, you want to come help me look for more turnip stuff? I'm sick of turnips. <laughs> okay. I don't want anything else to do with turnips. Is okay. there another way out of here? Um, I mean, there are other doors that don't have keypads. Maybe those are unlocked. Right. Yeah, there are there 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 are the, yeah 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 like there are those there are those one way windows and there's those three doors on the left like the uh, west east and south on the map that you can see and that you'd be able to get to as well let's try the other door yeah okay which door do you want to try um let's try the one like the west one the east one or the south one do we see charlie anywhere um uh if you look out the window you might be able to spot him if you want to try to look out the window yeah let me see where charlie is so i can choose which door from there sure um yeah you if you look out one of the windows, I'll say the window that's looking out the at the west hallway. You you don't see him there. Okay, um, I'll try the west door then. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, uh, so the door, um, as I said, it doesn't have any handles on it. Um, just looks like a door. Um. So you want to try to push it? Yeah. Okay. Not really budging. 
Not really budging. Is this like fake door. Is this like fake pockets, but it's a fake door? That's just that's worse somehow. Yeah. Uh, does anybody I search the wall? Maybe game. there's maybe there's um. It's like a hospital door where you have to hit the big button and then the yeah. Door. Oh yeah, maybe it's like accessible. Sure, I'll look around for like a button or like a like a something I need to step on on the floor or like around the ceiling. Okay, uh, roll, yeah, roll a, uh, you know, j- just roll a straight up d20 for me. Okay. Three! <laughs> yeah, you don't really, uh, you can't really make anything out. Um, yeah, you can't really, you, you can't make it out. You, like, look around. You can see all the doors from kind of the, the middle of the room. Um, they look, you know, they look like doors. Um... Uh, does anyone else want to try to find anything in the room or look around the room or? Can I take a look around the room to see if there's like anything else? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, also roll me a d20. All right. Yeah. Um, Mana's going to take a look around the room. She's going to look for, um, oh, nice. Oh, uh, she's going to look to see if there's any kind of emergency override or um, like. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, Shu wrote, wrote 18. Um, okay. so what, so what she sees is when you look at the doors, you do notice that they all, even though they don't have handles, you can kind of see like one part of the door that's a little darker than the others. So it looks like that there's a place where people were putting, their hands on because they're kind of like they're kind of like handprints but they're just a little bit darker and it wouldn't be easy to see but like you've been kind of like training yourself on it um so you can see that people have been putting hands on these doors um you know uh and you also see um well well i'll i'll, I'll say that with, with with your seven um Mar- markia that like mana sees um kind of in the corner uh, an old sewing machine. Uh, and the sewing machine on the front says uh, SEW on it, you know, for sew, like you're sewing. And it kind of sticks out to you because it looks like odd. Like, what is the sewing machine doing in the That's science cool. lab? Yeah, Mana's going to go check that out. Because, mm-hmm. you know, there was that pencil sharpener, which was. There was. Um, I mentioned, so. Yeah. Uh, you look at this sewing machine, and when you look at the letters of so, sew, you see it says S dot, like there's dots after it, like it's an acronym. So it's S dot E dot W dot on there. Everyone, what does so mean when it's other words? Like, like like letters? Yeah, like save elephants woo. I don't think so probably not. Uh, yeah. That's probably not that at the, hmm. the science school, Back but right um I don't know. I've never heard of that before, have you? No. Ooh, every everybody do a brain roll for me. <laughs> have I heard of it and Kaylee is just not paying attention? That's very possible. Um, well. Something that okay. I want to do is um, I have a, uh, oof, gosh. Um, I, I do have my treasure hunter um, trait where I can find Love something it. of use um, in the space if I uh, use uh, one of my adversity tokens with it. And I want to find something that is something that can help with finding out what this acronym is, like a manual or um, something along those lines, a scrap of paper or something sure. that has stuff on it. Okay. Um, so I'll say Kaylee with 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 a year eleven. Uh, Meadow sees that it's SEW, and you also recall that there are three other doors in the room. Um, and I will say that what, uh, 
Mana picks up with her treasure hunter ability oh. is she finds a little scrap of paper um, and she sees kind of a rectangle a room with uh, four dots in it. And she sees the the uh, main door marked as main entrance and the other door is marked clearly as uh, the one on the bottom marked as south, the one on the right marked as east, the one on the left marked as west. Wait, wait, I get it, I get it. Yeah. It's south, east, west. But do we all have to do it at the same time or do we do it in order? How about let's do both? Let's Let's do it, like send one of us to each one and then just do it in in the order of so. Okay. Um, I'm um, on, I'm already on W. Who wants to be E and S? I'll I'll go south. I'll go the furthest down. And uh, again, I want to bring up that they rejected my proposition to put giant axes in all of the rooms, and I'm paying for it now. <laughs> we really should have had giant axes everywhere. You're you're actually kind of right. Right. God. It's like they don't right. care about us at all. So is this the plan? Like, yeah, I want to do them. Yeah, what, yeah. what, what, what do y'all want to do? I guess without. So let's start in order first. Okay. So winter, you first. Put your hand on the place where the hands go. Boom. Okay, and then and, who next? And Mana, you're on the east side, right? Uh, sure. Uh, Mana okay. goes over to the to the east door and puts her hands. Like she looks over where Winter's putting her hands, and she puts her hands there. Sure. You put like yours on uh, on the west. You hear a click. Uh, the lights go off in the room, and that's where we're gonna end uh, what? today's uh, oh. this game. Uh, so all on you four. <laughs> so uh, if, if you I have any questions uh, for our. Techberg entrepreneurial students who are out there solving puzzles, evading Charlie, uh, you know, doing all, all, all kind of good stuff. Put those questions in the chat. Um, I like that the Ian So says for end of episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. C C U S E S O E. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. And we had a character turn into a, a, a turnip. Uh, which was pretty fun. Um, I was waiting for that moment to happen. I wasn't sure what episode, <laughs> what episode it was going to happen, but I, but I knew it was going to happen. You planned so. for someone to turn into a turtle. Oh, you better believe it. Incredible. You better believe Incredible. For sure. Now I, I, I will give some insight. I did not plan on it happening with someone crawling into a turnip, <laughs> uh, but I thought that you know, you know, my, my, you know, and I, I, I kind of talk about this on the GM prep, but my GM style is I kind of set things i have like my temple things that i want to happen and i look for places to insert them you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. so like that was such a great time to have quite her physically literally mold inserted with the, a character into a turn yeah, yeah yeah i was i was i was, yeah. I, was, I, was I was i was i was i was like this is a gift <laughs> it's a gift y'all are giving me you know um yeah so we have one question uh looks like how concerned were you all about mana being stuck as a turnip Extremely concerned. Yeah. Very concerned. That was a hundred percent pure grade A nope for uh, four. <laughs> In fact, like, four is still afraid of Mana because. <laughs> like, like, oh my god! When you were saying it, <gasps> I mean, she was trying to bite you as well. Yeah. Um, never. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I do like the idea of a wear a wear turnip. It is a pretty good yeah, wear turnip and turnsole. Those are those are, those, those are pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm still real stuck on that, like the fact that the the pencil got big too mm -hmm. and like incorporated itself into the turnip. That's that's really what's lodged into Meadow's brain. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things, and like we'll, we'll go over this in the recap next time. But you know, spoiler <laughs> alert: a lot of seeds yeah. have been laid this episode uh, that will <laughs> hey, come yeah. to fruition. Uh, um, I imagined it was like that spirited away turnip god, where just yeah. like the bonfires were like kind of stubby around. You know, it was a bit of an influence. 
<laughs> Shout out to uh, Spirited Away and the Miyazaki stuff because it's awesome. Yeah. Um, question four: Why did you instantly jump to wear turnip? Uh, because the way it was described, it felt like it was happening slowly. Like she was in the turnip, then she was the turnip. <laughs> It was just, it, it just, I just imagine, especially because he had to turn up on him, like, not feeling that transition. I don't know. In his mind, it's just like, you, you were you were in a turn up, now you are in the turn up. There's only one thing that I know in life that transforms, <laughs> and that's werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It was the full turn up moon. And, uh, you know, uh question uh now that the staff member locked you all in the room uh who is uh charlie the, the security guard do you still trust him i don't trust nobody yeah the adults can't be trusted in this i mean we found time and time again not even coach d uh trust is a human construct yet again and i refuse to believe in those so absolutely not I mean, so don't trust Charlie even after he gave you all this information. He sat down. Really and he locked us in a room. In a, we're Maybe children. he's trying to save you. Maybe he's trying to save you. We did him the favor of listening to his story, okay? As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> we <laughs> were giving him a kindness. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good point. The whole yeah. double thing is starting to wig yeah. that all out. Let me tell you, I love uh, Noir that you played for as saying that you didn't see him. I love that. I absolutely <laughs> love that. Because because I had to think in real time, like, how would Charlie react to it? Like, he would say, oh, like, you, you must have made a mistake because, you know. Uh, I, I got to tell you, perhaps this is uh, Forrest, D- Forrest intellect level seeping into Noir. But I got to trust Coach D. But it's Charlie, I don't trust. Yeah. Everybody's, cool. everybody's suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, question for Mana: Where did the worship of the turnip deity come from? <laughs> um, uh, in our in our Zoom chat, uh, Shu sent me a, a link about a um, a Finnish god who is the god of fertility in Finnish mythology, but also a god of turnip, protector of beans, peas, cabbage, flax, and hemp. So uh, immediately. Since my character is extremely superstitious and is trying to connect with gods, I was like, "Oh yeah, she's she's praying. She's praying to this god now." <laughs> Imagine how more su- how more superstitious she's gonna be after this experience. <laughs> yeah. Finnish mythology is amazing, by the way. Like the bear, is super important. It's it's good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, awesome. Someone in chat, cabbage patch god. The really cabbage yes. patch god. <laughs> yeah, shout yeah. out to everybody in the chat who's been getting amazing like vegetable references and puns like top notch. Y'all are ten killing ten. me. You're yeah, killing ten me. Yeah, ten ten. <laughs> yeah I, I, I was not expecting like a bunch of veggie fans in the chat. Got some, got the veggie crew. You know. Uh, so um, I kind of want to name cool. our little gig the Turnip Squad. Oh yes! God. I mean, if that's how y'all want to roll, we 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 we, we, we be. It's, get it because it's, like, it's like turn up. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, we want to turn it up. Uh. Yeah, well, we sound very old, by the way. Just, uh, know, just let you know, we so sound old. very yeah, ancient. Old. Like how the kids say, like they're lit. They turn it up, right? Yeah. No, they turn up cold. Uh-huh. I see that Michelle Obama one with about turnips, where she was like, turn "Oh right, yeah, that yeah, video, right. all right." <laughs> Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we can call it a turnip squad. Kind of, kind of like terror squad, like, like the fat Joe big pun yeah. thing, except turnips. It's great. I, I can oh roll gosh. with that. Um, I'm not a player. So I just run a lot. <laughs> oh man. I'm, I'm writing that down. Uh, boy, Felix. Uh, you know, I do like that one. Um, all right. So let's do our outros y'all. Um, okay. so we can make sure we, stick with time so make sure to shout out any things that you're doing like uh, this week anything coming up um and your social medias and all that good stuff so um let's start with a uh, shoe uh, hi everyone i have been shoe uh you can find me on twitter at hello there shoe um i don't have anything to announce so uh, have a great monday all right sweet all right kaylee hey everybody 
I'm Kaylee Bray. You can find me on Twitter, Hoppa Barbarian. I am live with Pixel Circus Fridays and Saturdays. Fridays for Failed Save, where I'm a player, and Saturdays for Damsel's Dice and Everything Nice. I run our Princess D and D uh, show, and I believe that my new video with D and D Beyond is up on their YouTube channel. So make sure to check that out. We talk about elevating um, storytelling through uh, traps and encounters in combat. It's super fun. Sweet. All right, uh, Marquia. Hello, I'm Markia McCarty. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Markia McCarty, M-A-R-K-E-I-A-M-C-C-A-R-T-Y. Uh, Twitch is Darth Markia. Facebook is Markia TV. And uh, yeah, I talked about it at the top of show on Tuesday, 6 p.m. PT. I'm part of Outbreak uh, Rag and Bone, uh, which is with Hunters Entertainment. And it's also a sponsor of uh, this for Kids on Bikes. And uh, we are in the zombie apocalypse, but the zombie apocalypse happened in the 90s. So that's that affects a lot of the play. So I guess most of my play right now is just like all all set in the 90s. We love which <laughs> I, I think that's absolutely wonderful. Uh, and then uh, along with that, uh, my animated horror series uh, that's on YouTube, it's called Something Scary. Uh, go ahead and check that out. This youtube.com slash snarled. Uh, it's a weekly animated horror episode that happens. Uh, we adapt stories that fans submit. Uh, there's also a podcast you can find it on Spotify or iTunes, wherever you find your podcasts. Uh, it's also called Something Scary. And I narrate uh, additional uh, horror stories on that. So go ahead and uh, check that out. Cool. Noir. Hello, everybody. I'm Noir. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram as the Noir Enigma. You can find me on TikTok as Noir Enigma. Drop the the because I forgot my password. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fun. Uh, something fun happened while we were playing today. Uh, we hit the stretch goal for Cobalt Press's Vault of Magic. So my Ooh. my magic item has been. Uh, revealed. It is yeah. the potion of empowering truth. If you want to get some power back, uh, you can. It'll just cost you the truth. So I'm very excited to see <laughs> uh, what you all think of this item. Uh, I can't wait to see what stories you tell with it. Uh, the Kickstarter is at three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. So yeah. Keep it going, guys. There's amazing, amazing designers on it. We've got. Literally everybody, Adam Bradford, Deborah Ann Wall, Luke Gygax, Daniel Kwan, just everybody. So thank you, thank you, thank you for partaking in the Kickstarter and keep it going. They have more guest designers. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and just this past weekend, I was uh, I was lucky enough to take part in the Gen Con Spring Showcase. Um, we revealed a bunch of pretty cool games, and uh, we played Mondrosity, which was an uh, amazingly fun game, so please give that a, uh, a look. Um, uh, I GM Into the Southlands for Cobalt Press on Sunday, so check that out. And if you want to see my full schedule, it is in my pinned tweet, so just go ahead and take a look at that. But thank you again for partaking in the Vault of Magic Kickstarter. It means the world. Awesome. Great stuff. Uh, and I'm Sharif. Um, I'm a GM. Uh, find me at SharifJackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-F, Jackson.com, or Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Um, Sunday mornings at noon central, I'm uh, on Rivals of Waterdeep playing D&D 5th edition. Um, we've made it to Candlekeep. So we are uh, in the in basically the Hogwarts of Faerun. So we'll get to see what happens in there. Um, on Tuesday mornings, I do our video game stream at twitch.tv slash Rivals of Waterdeep. Um, still playing through Spirit Fair, having a great time. So we do those at 10 a.m. Central on a Tuesdays. And Thursday mornings at 10 a.m. Central, we'll be here on Roll20 app doing the GM prep for kids on bikes. Um, so if you want to see how I build the map, so I integrate the DM notes into stuff and all that stuff. But spoiler free, uh, make sure to check that out as well. Um, and I'll be guesting on the uh, Nature Check podcast, um, which is at, at Check Nature on uh, Twitter. They're like a bunch of scientists that play a uh, D&D. So I'll be part of their Arda campaign um, starting on March 14th. So I'm looking looking forward to that for sure. We, we've been planning out um, all that because they're scientists. I can get a little, a little ridiculous with the puzzles. So I'm uh, really looking forward to that as well. Um, and uh, as, as uh, everyone in the room shakes their head. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel uh, dissed. 
considering well, no, we did no. so well with this last puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I when like I said, like ridiculous. I mean, like no one would want this unless you're already like, you know, uh, punishingly difficult. Some might say, unless you got yeah. something better than a T one eighty five. What's up? Hey. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Also, it's a TI, but I'll 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 let that go. I don't um, math. And. <laughs> And, and uh, also um, uh, in May, I just signed on to, um, I'll be DM some uh, stuff for Jasper's game day. Um, Cause like I'm a part of their board. So I'll be oh, me a game uh, for them. And, you know, they help fight against uh, efforts against teen suicide. So uh, make sure to ch- check them out at Jasper's game day. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining us again. We'll be back here. Same time, same place next week. As we find out what happens when we uh, touch those doors. So s- see y'all later. Peace out.